and welcome to another episode of Live Talks with I.O. Family. We have the wizard <laughs> and Fox Jackson in the studio. That's good, man. Come on. It's good to be here. It's good to be here. Yeah, good to have you here. Thank you. Thank you. One, thank you. Two, three. Oh, so, shit. Don't worry hey. about that, man. Don't worry about that, man. You're fire in the studio. You're going to put it yeah, out. Yeah, exactly. You know exactly. Yeah. You're on fire. At any given time, I'm going to ask you for the free. This is to celebrate whatever we're talking about. <laughs> the three, man. I thought it's just the two, innit? No, no, it's the three, the three, the three. The three. Man, the Thank three you. Come one, on. One, two, three. Uh, Fox. What's up, man? How you Lad, doing? I'm good. I'm, I, uh, I'm you're good. feeling it this morning. Yeah, That's what you're doing. I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm good. I'm always good. I mean, I think life is for Mate, me. Mate, I'm impressed. Your still energy levels are right at the top, man. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Don't play, man. But life, because like, life's for living. Excuse me. It's all good, if you man. don't use your energy like wisely, you don't like let it out when you can, and especially in situations like this, this is definitely therapy for me. Like doing yeah. a podcast is so therapeutic, and this is the first time I've met you, but I've met you indirectly for your dad. Yeah, yeah. And it's like it's amazing to have you across the table for me, but to have this conversation now, this is the, the this is where I get my energy from, folks. It's cool, man. Yeah, it's and cool. I love it that you're just like authentically yourself as well. I Thank see you. that. Yeah, yeah. It's Thank cool. You. It's Thank cool. You. cool. Who else are you gonna There's be? no mask. There's no yeah. mask. It's just like, yeah, it's just you, which is good. It's good to feed off that energy. It keeps me pumped. Yeah, nice. yeah. it's like, jokes, like, man. Thank you. Yeah, like yeah, like yeah. That. No, it's funny. It's funny. Yeah, you came in this morning. I was like, oh my god, the character is like, <laughs> the character's big. It's like, it's cool, man. Yeah, it's cool. You're just you, innit? That's thank that's you. the thing. I appreciate you, man. Yeah, you're, of course, you're, man. You're humbling me up in the studio, man. Yeah, of but, course, um, man. Yeah, I mean, I think it's important. It's definitely, important to definitely. Be yourself. Yeah, yeah. Enjoy yourself, whatever you do. To let let go, throw caution to the wind. Take things seriously, but not too seriously. Yeah, for sure. And then and then put, well, I put think, your energy into. I stuff. think it's always really important to stay inside yourself. You know, don't feel like you have to do anything outside yourself or be anyone you're not. You know, because then you won't be true to you or what you're doing whether that's like music or dance or art or whatever it is you know yeah. if you stay true to you that's the best way to create whatever it is podcasts or yeah how do you so, what, yeah. What, what, what do you say when you say stay inside yourself that's beautiful stay you inside know? yourself yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Wait, break it down for the people again. i just broke it down now oh, no, stay, I, cause it means a lot to me because yeah staying inside yourself it means like you, you, you're 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 focused on what you need to focus on focus on you yeah we, we project stuff yeah that, so much it's or give like pieces water, of like ourselves water. away as well. Huh? We give pieces of ourselves away as yeah. well too much. Yeah. Like we um, put energy and time into the wrong thing and it's good just to stay centred and stay on yourself, I think, definitely. How did you get that, 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 that ethos? Where did you get that? Where did that kind of... Uh, just from? everything from music to art to, you know, um, podcasts like this one. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, every little source, everything you like, you just, you know, like an amuse-bouche, you just steal little bits yeah. here and there, you I know, like that. things you it, like. Don't yeah. Don't, don't, don't let like an amuse bouche. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> Tell me why I missed that, but it's you know an amuse bouche. Is? Look it up yeah, behind you. I love it. I love the way you dropped that in there. How oh, much? Like an amuse bouche. Yeah, yeah, man. So, how long you been playing? I'm gonna, I'm gonna Can... write. That's the next song. Like an amuse bouche. Yeah, yeah. Nice, 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 yeah, nice. Yeah. Um, how long you been doing music? Uh, for a long time. Yeah, I was just telling Mac a second ago. Um, that I kind of started in the musical theatre world. So. Um, I was a Billy Elliot when I was younger. Oh wow! Yeah, you know um, Yeah, yeah. Dancing and all that stuff. Yeah, man. no that's, wonder you like the fact I was that I was going to dance. You. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, man, that's oh, man, oh, that's man. why I was impressed. So um, cool. that's my history. So I, as I was saying, I learned how to dance from like the Justin Timberlake music video. Yeah, that's what you said. That's not what you said. That is what I said. That is what I said. Come on. No, what you said. Sorry, uh, sorry to contradict my uh, my young friends. Uh, Fox. <laughs> we never said you learned to dance from Justin Timberlake. You said you learned to pop a lock. I said that. I learned to but pop a lock. Dance, yeah, dance dancing is very like, different. Yeah, 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 yeah ballet. Well. Yeah, yeah. That's what I was just being no, pedantic. Pop, kind pop, of pop, yeah, yeah, hundred percent. But popping and locking was the thing I first fell in love with. Like, okay. Like um, at, like that. The end of the like I love you video, and yeah. then also the break section in the Usher burn video as well. Okay. Like I learned those dance. You should let it burn. Is, that that, is it burn a rendition to Clean Kelly? Is that that one or is that not that one? Oh, I'm not sure. There's, uh, one, the one... Where there's, there's one where there's a rendition to Gene Kelly. Is burn when he's dancing in the ring? Um, oh, no, that's... Um, uh, oh, which one? You got that? it bad. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, you got it bad. That's, that's you a rendition got it bad. of Jen Kelly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dancing yeah. in the rain. The rain. Yeah, singing yeah, yeah, the rain, yeah, yeah. Singing in the rain. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, those are the things I grew up on, and I learned how to dance from there. And then that took me into dancing school, and yeah, did Billy Elliot for about 
um, two years, set the record for the longest running as well. Wow. Like what most school did you, shoot what school, shows. Did you go to? Um, went to Ravens Court Theatre School for a short yeah. time. I don't know if that still exists. Um, and then I also went to Sylvia Young's After Billy for a while okay. um, and then left there to do a TV show. Um, okay. But yeah, the um, the process for Billy is just like yeah, um, so intense. The training, oh, it's like all day, every day, you know, constant. Yeah. Uh, it's a show. I mean, if, if you yeah. if people don't know about doing shows and actually acting, people who come out and just see the the finished polished product, mm. they don't realize how much time and effort and energy actually goes into that. It's a lot. No, I know. I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm a fellow thespian like yourself. Like I've done, mm, I've done the dance on the stage. I've done dance on the stage, on the mainly stage. theater stuff. Cool. But yeah, no, I understand. And then, how how old was you when you first got it? When you first started? And when, let me ask. So I, I ask so many questions. At the same no, time. no, no. Go, go, go. Yeah. What was it like when you landed it? You know, because you have to go for audition, 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 audition. Yeah, That's yeah. already one thing because you got to learn that stuff and nail it for the people. I think auditioning is different to when you're preparing for a show because you know you got it. Yeah. You still got you still got that thing where you have to train and you have to you want to perform your best performance. But you kind of like you are Billy Elliot now yeah. opposed to fighting for it. I find that different. But please in your own words. Yeah, it was like so um obviously the audition process is really intense for Billy. Yeah. Um because tell us, tell us what tell us about it. We don't know how they gotta do it man. It's a, it's a lot. So they they have loads and loads of rounds and basically they check up on you at every single stage so you'll go through the first audition and they give you a yes or a no mm. the first time i actually auditioned they turned me down because i was too small mm -hmm. and i went back the next year and i was a gymnast as well oh so fuck you do it all didn't you listen listen, cool, listen. Blow me. Uh, i tried i tried big up to your dad still, yeah big man. up to dad yeah he was the one who is like yeah just you know Push give me all the options to yeah. see what stuck like throwing everything at the wall to see what stuck a little bit yeah, yeah, yeah. um but dad was a gymnast as well um okay so, yeah, he did it as well. Um, but yeah, Makes I did sense. gymnastics as well. And I remember it was either go to the UK final, um, which I was sort of like, you know, dad and I were talking about maybe training for the 2012 Olympics, like mm. going down the gymnast route mm. or doing Billy Elliot. And it came round, the audition came round again. And I was like, no, I, I told him, I was like, I've got to do it. I just had yeah. that mindset of like, this is what I want to do. Yeah. And got through that round when I went back. And then from there, it's about, six months of training ballet tap gymnastics hip-hop you know everything acting um to even get the role and then once you get the role you start learning for the next like six months so so, it's, wait, uh, wait, 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 wait. so they, do you have to do it's like, basically a year process and half of that process is them still being like you might not get it and then it ends oh. with a summer intensive of training you up um, like the last, like it's a straight week of dance and you do one big last audition and then you either get through that or don't. And oh. if you get through that round, you start learning the show oh. um, as Billy Elliot. And that's what I did. And it takes obviously a lot of time um, yeah. to learn the whole show. Uh, it's a three hour show and it's like, we're off stage like 20 minutes. Yeah. So yeah. Um, so how, 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 uh... Oh, where's my question gone? Where's my question gone? Learning the really lit, doing the really lit. How did you manage to keep your energy up? Because in those, excuse me, we talk about my energy today is um, so on the subject of energy. Yeah. In all the processes of the audition and stuff, when they're checking on you, at any given time, how do you, you lax? You know, oh, no, don't do it. Well, you know, like people, they're watching everything, aren't they? I think that's the kind of lucky thing of being a kid. You're not really thinking about that stuff. You're not too much in your head. Do you know what <laughs> I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's that like, child, the child in I you, I think yeah. someone said the best actors are either kids or dogs, right? Kids are animals. So, like, you know, there's no wow. there's no second guessing when you're a kid. It's just sort of you're, you're living. There's no... There's no yeah. Um, sort of intrusive thoughts or negative thoughts is just sort of it, I, for me at least anyway I, I didn't I know some people some kids do but um, for me going for that was just like it was what I wanted so there was nothing mm. in my own self holding me back I wasn't really too worried with the outcome I was just having fun whilst dancing and getting potentially on getting on with it yeah, getting, yeah. Um, but yeah that sort of led me down the music route and then from there I sort of you know uh, switched up. Go on, go on. 
Go on. No, no, you can talk to me. No, you go on, go on. Are you sure? No, no, no. I don't want my nose to be running on TV. Yeah, no, it's all good. It's all good. You don't want this halfway through the... <laughs> People in the comments are gonna be like, "What the, what the hell is that?" Yeah, I'm ill, man. I'm Ill, yeah. Well. it's all good, man. Sorry, sorry. Uh, it's all good, bro. Um, so yeah, obviously that gave me like a good like pedigree and you know loads of skills and mm. you know practice for moving on to music eventually. You mm. know, um, I picked up the guitar when I was about sixteen, and then from there, just started writing songs. Um, but yeah. Nice. What kind of um? Did you see the Billy Elliot process. How long did it take? So you passed the, you gone through the audition. Yeah. How long did it take for you to get on stage? Like, what was that process in like learning the lines, the dances? Oh, six months. Six months. Yeah. Course, yeah. It's a it's a really long um process, you know, of training, getting the Billy strong enough to know the show, um, and yeah, just keeping on top of. Yeah. That yeah. What's the hardest part to learn the singing dance? Um, the lines. I, I, the lines were all fine for me. I think the hardest part was probably the dancing. There was like a, a. I used to have a thing with focus back in the day. My gymnastic coach um, would like you know yell at the boys or just like keep us in check um, and just be like you know keep us focused. And I would always like, you know, just <laughs> head in the clouds a little bit. I used to have the, oh, I used the, the worst though, but I used to have the worst focus. Um, and I would just like look off or be distracted by something. And they often thought that that was me not interested or not listening, but I would like always listen and then go on to win the goal, like gold at the competitions. And I think it, that happened in Billy. There was like this time where they thought I wasn't paying enough attention Mm -hmm. and they they sat me down in front of my dad as well and had like a you know a kind of a bollocking session of like he needs to an intervention like, yeah an intervention it was a proper intervention they were like come on he needs to like pull his thumb out and um you know uh concentrate so that was the hardest part it was just like they they thought i had like yeah i did have they my head in conform. the clouds so was yeah you, was you were you delivering when it came to I do was, the, I was, I definitely do the was. Pieces. Yeah, definitely. And you so know, they just wanted you in there. Like, they just, they, just, they, just oh, he's watching, he's watching, he's watching. They want that regimental. Kind yeah, of thing exactly. There. I mean, it was regimented. You know, it's it really is a military when you go there. It's like dancing uh, every single day, and you know, acting, singing, and it's you know, you school from a certain time, and then once you hit lunch, you're doing ballet, tap, gymnastics. Mm. You know, so it's quite. But it's, it's gone. It's yeah, it's just intense. It really is regimented, and they yeah. want you to, you know, it's be so much focused. Room for error, though. Yeah, hundred you know, like, percent. Yeah, injuries and stuff like oh, that. Yeah, yeah. The child as well. So they're taking that all into consideration. Yeah, exactly. And the show and the lights. And you've been so you yeah, know what course. it is anyway. So like yeah. when the show's on, other people's influences. So if you don't know your stuff, like the back of your hand, yeah, is there's is it potentially there could be hundred percent. Yeah, when you're doing choreographed, yeah. um, pieces and I'm just a kid. People, there. I'm just a kid, just like running yeah, along. Yeah, yeah. You can, I you can put get your foot in the wrong place. Yeah, you break oh, someone's yeah. leg. Oh, like, people, I've been dancing with people and they've been really injured. Yeah, just by you putting your foot down. In just the wrong position. Place. That's it. Therefore, it's yours. That's it. It's, yeah, a, I know. it's a lot. Yeah, yeah. So that's probably that's what was why. your his, what was your history of dance? Tell me. I want to know. Come on. Uh, Come on. Come on. Um, I want to know. I've studied um, uh, contemporary jazz, Afro Caribbean. No way, dance. man. That's fucking yeah, sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, as a kid like yourself, I was into the break dance. Well, I was around when break dancing came out. Almost. <laughs> so I was. <laughs> <laughs> Dust. Your <laughs> Dust is coming up. Yeah, yeah, so um same as you, but not the same as you. Like I learnt from the break dance. Yeah. A film called Breaking. Breaking. And or the, the B Boys, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so you got Turbo Ozone and certain people and then what's that guy's name? Taco. Yeah. Then people like yeah. done some mad, mad, yeah. mad things. And watching them on TV was so exciting. I just wanted to I wanna ask you this question afterwards. Yeah. But also I grew up on John Travolta and that. And I had dreams of going in the dance and just going in the dance and just fucking up the dance. You know, like, speaking of my friends, just going Wait, in the Do you mean Grease or Saturday Night Fever? No, Saturday Night Fever, okay, okay, bro. Okay, Forget okay, Grease, okay. bro. I thought Forget you meant Grease for a second. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck Nelly, yeah. man. I thought you want to wear, the, you want to wear the tight pants. Yeah, man. no, like, yeah. Just, it was the, it was the whole. The I, like the collars, the style. No, the, the attention. Yeah, yeah. Of going in, you know, like going in, but yeah, really, yeah. really kind of, um, 
knowing your stuff as well. Yeah. Really like you did before, like we did show me that movie, you did some you did some yeah, uh, you did some movies. Bro, you doing it for no, me. You man. Did, I know. No, I, 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 you, know, you got it, man. You're doing it You're for doing me. You're doing it for me. I love yeah, it. I love it. I love you it. Got it. And look at the but, oh, Yeah, there you go, there you go. Oh, <laughs> oh man. So yeah, all of that. Yeah. And man. I, I like the isolation is Yeah, cool. and doing it yeah. and enjoying it. And then people enjoying you doing it yeah. was where it was at for me as a kid. So I did that. I done street dancing. The Bro, I was that's, on stage. That's performed. exactly. You know, I was I was called a backflip kid at school you because people, yeah, people would hand me a quid and I do like yeah, just cause you do could, a tuck back because I could do it. So I wish exactly I could do backflip. Yeah. Mate. I wish I could. Hey, it's, it's never too late to learn. Come gymnastics. Nah, that. Come, mind, hey, mate. if you can dance, man, that's yeah. half. That's half I'm the big battle. Though. You could. T- uh, you, I reckon you could tumble pretty well, man. You look. I could tumble. I could tumble. I reckon you could. You could. Get a but flip I'm scared, in, come on. man. You know, like you know, they say, what's that film? There's a film with Adam Sandler called The Do Over. The Do Over. No, I've not seen it. If, if you see it, it's called The Do Over. But he's got um, in the beginning, there's a scene and he's, he's a hitman in it. But there's a guy who comes in. He's a Swedish guy. Yeah. And he comes in, he starts fighting, he starts backflipping. He goes, that guy's way too fucking tall to be backflipping, man. <laughs> <laughs> like, he's too tall. Yeah, because exactly. you got to get a rotation. Yeah, in, yeah. Like, it's better to be small. Yeah. And yeah. then hit the ground at a Low certain gravity, speed. You know, yeah. like yeah. Have you ever had that like? Well, they say Chris, Chris, Chris Brown was like that. Yeah, and you're an artist, you're a singer and a dancer now. Um, well, you are an artist, but have you ever had that where you've gone in a club and you just wanted, you know, you've just gone in, giving it all the shoulders, and you really, you've got older a minute because you, you know what you got going on. Yeah, exactly. Not everyone yeah. knows what you got going on no. when you go to a club. They just look at you, they won't know what you got. Do you know yeah. what I mean? I try to keep it low key. That yeah. sounds, that sounds like a bit of you though. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Man, fuck you, don't fuck it out. Fox in hell. Fantastic, on, Mr. Fox, may I say. Yes, come on. Yeah. Um, bro, you're sick. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah people got in the Loki and just thought, all right, you know what? You're in the and club. Just, and just you're in the club. Just busted out. You're in the club. What, what moves are you breaking out into? Me. Yeah, yeah. I just dance. Yeah, yeah. See, when I when I'm when I was younger, I used to this at Fox interview Mina. Yeah, <laughs> when I was younger, um, we used to go to the raves and we used to, I used to have that in my head yeah like I'm saying not everyone knows this my close friends know this but I used to have that in my head like the John Travolta break dance yeah, yeah. Uh, Michael Jackson um, it was a way of gaining attention mm. and gaining kudos yeah and getting pats on the back it was the way it was what I saw on TV the way to get kudos yeah I, yeah. I, I never I never really saw the root of singing like you never, I never saw her, like till later on how much love that like panties on the stage and all that. Some singers get, yeah, I never yeah, saw that. Definitely. Maybe I would have sung. Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> um, just to turn thought, into Barry White. You yeah, know, yeah. Just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What? You killing me? You know that. Yeah, bro. But yeah, so I just found it as a way to go to place, and also it was a good way to release the energy I had. Hundred percent. So I'm full of energy as That's well. That's good. You found like a positive outlet. Yeah, you know? and you could just dancing, you could, man. You like, should go in a club. It's self-expression. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. You could do what you want. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. And it, it, no one can tell you whether the move is right or wrong. Yeah. Or good or bad. They can either give you props. Or, or or abuse you quietly with their friends. Like, what the fuck is he doing? Do you bro, know what I mean? One bro, of the I'm two. <laughs> when did you say the date was? Tell me the date. The of 6th this. of June. The 6th of June. I'm <laughs> definitely... Well, that's what right. we're filming. That's what we're filming. We won't okay. release it. Okay. Fox is preempting the 100th episode. I will be dancing. He will be singing. I'm, I'm so there, It will there, be a man. show. Yes, I'm so there, bro. I need to see this now. Come on. I want to see the moves. Yeah. But yeah, go, go, go back to you. Go back to you. Okay, okay. Have you ever... Have you gone in the club, seen a nice girl, or gone in the club and said, you know what, I want to I wanna show these... Like, you know, you you've been rehearsing and then even that even being a, 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 a classical dancer um, even being a classical dancer and that kind of thing you could if you go into a club there's moves you can do there's ways you can yeah. move your body that other people that might not be uh, familiar with but to certain songs you bust certain moves and it's just like you said it's expression yeah you know, definitely what, whoa 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 that's like, always you know the, what I mean yeah 100% Have that's you ever always done the, that? The, yeah yeah the, definitely the, 100% yeah, yeah for sure yeah, yeah. you gotta show you gotta show no, what you're working story, with you've got no I think for me it's just like <laughs> the the most important part is just like um, I see these people walking around um, and they use their bodies as like a storage unit for their brain um, and they're not connected to self uh, like oh, wow. in terms of movement and wow like, wow wow yeah, yeah so yeah, yeah, i've always been a f- i've always been a fan of like um i met sebastian fukan who's like um, Don't know who he is. he's he basically invented free running oh wow. um in uh france he was like one of the first guys the to stuff. yeah exactly Crazy so waffle, his thing was like how to get from a to b in the most like useful way in terms of flow 
um, whether that's like over the city or climbing over the walls and stuff like that. So I've always been interested in people like yourself who aren't just like my, you know, my body is just so my mind can get places. Yeah. You know, your body's a, a form of expression and movement. And yeah. that's always what's been really interesting to me in terms of dance and movement itself. Like yeah. it's a form of expression. Um, so yeah, I've always been a massive, massive fan of that. And like anyone who's into dance just like has that inside of them, yeah. you know, yeah, 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 like definitely. connected to body, yeah. you know. I used to have, when I used to do dancing with the guys, like we used to be at the bus stop practicing, here practicing, so it was just there, we'd practice at any given time. Yeah. It used to be, our, we, just, we just used to love to dance. And even now, dancing is so free, it's just, it's, it, it's creates freedom and, mm -hmm. and, 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 and um, serenity, euphoria, there's so much things. Uh, yeah, man. Gets the endorphins these. going. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's so nice. Where it's the best way. What was you like as a kid? What was I like as a kid? As yeah, a I told you a little bit away with the fairies. Yeah. Um, and yeah, distracted. Um, and I think that's why, because music and acting and out, that was the outlet, you know, dance yeah. and like a form of expression. Um, because kids are weird and I was definitely a weird kid for sure. Yeah, I yeah, embrace yeah. my weirdness now, but yeah. you know, when you're younger, people don't, but, um, yeah, strange. I was a strange kid. Yeah. Yeah. Um, bless you. Bless you. Gesundheit. Thank you, bless Gesundheit. You yeah. Thank you. Thank you. You still came out, bro. Yeah. Listen, listen, you're sick. You're still yeah, here, we go, bro. We go, we go. Yeah, I came out. I won't going to cancel on you. No, oh, come on. Cancel man. on him. Cancel <laughs> on the next person. We don't get a cold and lay down. The energy, man. Now I like I'm the saying, energy. We yeah. like, we like, we like, no pun intended, but yeah, we like moms in this place, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't get no man cold. Yeah, no man cold. Come on. Have you got theater experience? Theater experience? Yeah. Sorry, just throwing you. It's all right, you can ask me a question, you want. Yeah, I've got extensive fear experience. Oh, have you? <laughs> yeah. I like how you took so long <laughs> yeah. to figure it. Wait, what were you? were like, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah I've done loads. I've done hundreds I'm, of shows. I'm, I'm, I'm going to say hundreds of shows, but... Yeah. Like, I'm what have you done? In, I'm at home in the theatre. Yeah. I'm definitely at home in the theatre. Okay, so... Uh, what have I done? Uh, Romeo, Juliet, oh, yeah, um, so. Antigone... Um, uh, 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 Antigone, um, Black Heroes in the Hall of Fame, um, The Flayed Mouse, um, okay. Fidelio, um, Little Shop of Horrors. Mate, that's a good one. I love Little Shop of Horrors. That's one of my first ones. Uh, the Crucible. Classic. Yeah, I was Reverend Hell. Nice, yeah, nice. Yeah, that was that was a nice though. Which is what do you mean? Which is? Yeah. yeah. It's like old English. Are these all old English kind of? Yeah, 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 yeah. They're sort of like the archetypal. Yeah, 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 yeah plays. Yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could see him doing those kind of roles really good, actually. Yeah, yeah. I could see you putting your own spin on it, man. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I love the stage, but I'm also I'm coming also in, giving the scared. other actors like three high fives. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, but, yeah but, but, did they fuck about with you on stage? Hundred percent. They yeah. fuck about. They oh, fuck so about much. They don't fuck. Don't play like so much. I yeah. Mean, you'll be. you will gone on to do your your yeah. crescendo, your epic thing, your your pivotal piece. Your like you've got like like um 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 you know like when Romeo and Juliet are dying and then one dies mm. and the other one wakes up comes and then, back and then she goes oh no he's dead or I can't remember which way who died but the other one wakes up and takes the poison during that yeah. some bit of side going. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Like yeah, yeah. Shit to put you off. Yeah, like, like flashing you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. all sorts. All, all stuff. Sorts, yeah, all yeah. Sorts, yeah. Sorts. But I love the theatre. Yeah. It's, it's, I, I just think no two shows are the same. 100%. It's such a great outlet. I mean, it's, it's, it's the most, it's the closest, the closest thing to life I think there really is. Because in life, no matter what it is, like in here, we all have these defaults. Yeah. But we have to, we're playing roles now. Well, this is roles. Yeah. We play roles consistently. When you get on a bus, you play a role. When you pay for something, when you have lunch, when you buy a coffee, yeah. whatever. We'll, we're playing roles constant, consistently. Yeah, we've got yeah, to definitely. We're playing roles consistently. The only thing is, is those roles, they're, they're, what's the word? You've got no choice. Yeah, exactly. We have to play those roles. Yeah. The other ones are of choice, and then we have more, more, more um, excitement or interest in doing it. And we know they're of choice. And we don't feel they can they can hurt us, so we push the boat out. Mm. But so in saying that now, 
we just push the boat out in life as well because nothing can happen. 100%. Time. So yeah. we should just push the boat out. Just no say yes, what, to, like, yes to your impulses, yeah, you know? Because yeah. like, I think we sit on our impulses a lot during life, you know? Um, like whether it's like things we want to say to a loved one or things we mm. want to say to, you know, someone we don't like, you know, yeah. I think we often like stifle our own feelings and play roles, like you say, yeah, yeah, to yeah. protect, you know? So, and then it's, um, it's, it's so much easier just to let it out. Yeah, definitely. Like, yeah. And that's why acting, music, whatever... I think um, Ethan Hawke said something really cool. He said, you know, um, art is a necessity because he said, if you've ever felt, you know, really sad and really down, the thing you look for is probably, you know, a poem, a piece of music, a piece of artwork, or the opposite. If you've ever felt really happy, really elated, you're like, has anyone ever felt like this before? And the mm. way we go is theater or music or yeah, yeah it's like yeah, a, yeah. it's a mirror to us. So yeah, yeah. you're so right. Things that um, these two endorphins kind of yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah, 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 exactly. And connects us all, man. Um, so yeah. Um, Hopefully I can do that in my music, but we'll see. Done it already. We'll see. I listened yeah. to some of your tracks and like. Um, what do you think, man? <clears throat> I enjoyed them. It was like it was easy listening for me. The first two tracks mm. I listened to, I couldn't tell you what the names were. Your dad sent them to me yeah. on um, Spotify or something. Yeah, yeah. And I put it and I just pressed play. Cause I was at work. I press play, I was listening to them. Thanks God I listened to them because he rolled up on me about 20 minutes later. <laughs> so I was actually, when he rolled up on me, I was actually listening yeah, to Yeah, yeah, so exactly. That's good, good that's you know good, that's mean? good. But I did like, um, I did like the music. I can't, I don't want to say the wrong thing now because I don't remember clearly everything about it, but I like, like I like all different kinds of music. Yeah, yeah. Like I like, um, just for argument's sake, like um, The Police, Ed Sheeran, uh, Oasis, mm. um, guitar, because you play guitar. Yeah. I'm seeing you in those kind of those kind of areas. Like for me, that's the kind of music. Are you saying white? Indie. You're saying white areas? Yeah, yeah. more yeah. white. Yeah, I love yeah, it. Yeah, I love yeah, you. Yeah. Just like named like five white guys. Yeah, yeah. But it's yeah. not. But it's not. No, because you've got to understand. It's not just white. Yeah. You got I've done, I've, Robert Palmer. Is Robert Palmer? You know Robert Palmer? No, I don't know. Is a guy called remember Robert Palmer? He sounds right. Yeah. A, he, but he sings, <laughs> but, he, but he sings like a black man. Yeah, sings, yeah, like, yeah. He sings R and B soul, soul in that. Yeah, yeah. But blue, blue eyed soul, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. But then Ed Sheeran, uh, oh, police. I'm, I couldn't be any further away from those guys. No, like, you, you think so? Oh, I couldn't. Oh, be I apologize. Any away. I apologize. No, no, no. Not, not in like I don't take offense, but yeah. just like in terms of like the style of music. Maybe okay. one, soul, maybe man. one day. But yeah, my okay. stuff is like true, like blue eyed soul, like you know, um, looking to like. Uh, people like George Benson, Nile Rogers, okay. uh, Pharrell Williams. Yeah. The black guys? Yeah. My man! I, apo yeah, man. I apologize of course, man. <laughs> if I got it wrong. Bro, no. that's where the, the soul music comes from. It just stems from stems from that, you know, jazz yeah. in America and just like, you know, obviously, you know, it's my own interpretation and you are what you grow up with and that's yeah. what I grew up around that sort of sound and music and yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that so then, sort of what stuff what do you say he's like Ivan Moore man he's like that kind of Ivan Moore do you, do you know Ivan Moore no I don't know who's that he's another guy that I interviewed on this show and he's like he performed on Funk the and 50th, Soul the 50th yeah, yeah. Uh, the, the 50th uh, oh bro uh, D'Angelo's the best man yeah. like yeah I love yeah. all that stuff I love the Soul Quarians yeah. and like um, Soul Quarians yeah who's that the Soul Quarians? No, no, um, I don't know much, you know. You're educa um, education from so me, the Soul the Soul Quarians are uh, D'Angelo, Erica Badu, okay, Common, okay, uh, Questlove, and the Roots. Okay, because well, most, def, most definitely in there. Mozdef isn't in there. Oh, no, right. no, because um, well, he's he, a G though. So they were all. Um, he's sick, bro. He's yeah, one he's of my G, favorites. He's like most of G. Yeah, he's the best. Um, but so basically, when they were shooting or uh, recording uh, back, I can't remember, it must have been like the sort of like ni late 90s, um, but they were in Electric Lady Studios all working on their own albums, but together. So they'd run up and record on everybody's stuff. So Jay Dillers w was making beats for Erica Badu. The Roots were playing on her stuff. You know, Questlove was obviously drumming with D'Angelo. Um, so it was like this melting pot of just like soul, uh, right. and they're all Aquarians, so so Aquarius. Right. Um, so it was like a certain point in time where all those albums came out. I think uh, Common put out like Water for Chocolate. Um, the Roots put out Things Fall Apart. Um, and I can't remember if it was... Um, Erica Badu put out Mama's Gun or Baduism, but um, yeah, that stuff was like it. 
all like happened in the same place. It was like this amazing yeah. time for music, yeah, like yeah, especially yeah. soul music. And yeah. obviously D'Angelo put out, um, I think he put out, uh, oh, what's it called? Brown Sugar. Voodoo. Voodoo. Yeah, yeah. Brown Sugar now, but... Huh? Brown Sugar now, Brown Sugar's but... on the previous one. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then he started working with Quest. Um, who is heavily influenced by D'Angelo and all that stuff. So yeah, that's the that's the music I love, man. Like the music I Who's your favourite artist? Oh. And then after that, what's your favourite song from the artist? From any Ooh. art? What's your favourite song within that genre? Okay, course? but I wanna hear your one as well after this as well though. Okay. So yeah. Um I love Prince. Prince is like he's just the man when it comes to live performance music uh concepts uh energy output like 39 studio albums like it's just insane 39 studio yeah i think so i think that was pre like after he died you know he's released more music after yeah. he's passed away um but yeah he's my absolute favorite and someone i'd like just keep going back to and you never learn enough there's always more music more like stuff and i would say my favorite song by him is uh if i was your girlfriend that's an amazing song I was your girlfriend. yeah that one yeah, yeah. <laughs> So good. Yeah, did it, did it, did it. I like it. That's I like a big it. tune, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. He's got some tracks. He's, he's got, got some, some tracks really good tracks. Yeah. Oh, oh, crazy. Purple Rain was nice. Oh, he's, got, he's just got some. What's that? Uh, the one where he's talking about being on the street in somewhere in America. And I went down to the went down to see my doctor and blah 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 blah. He's got a song where he goes, "I went to see my doctor. My doctor told me something. something. It's all on that same album. Yeah. I couldn't regurgitate. Sign it, of maybe. the times. Maybe. I can't remember it. I don't. Yeah. Wanna, I don't want to like uh, abuse his memory by not saying the right yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. But for me, um, who do you love? Who do I love myself? Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> who do you love? Are you sure? You know who that is, right? Thank you, mate. Yeah. No. L. Yeah, L. Cool L. Uh, uh. I want to say. I want to say the police. The police? Yeah. Wow. Really? I want to say the Your police. Your favourites? Yeah, I want to say the police. Wow. Cool, man. I want to say the police. Like, there's other people who I'm enjoying now because I'm getting to know who they are. Yeah. But if I was to put on, there's certain tracks I could just put on and I could just listen to them. Yeah. And they invoke different things within inside me. And yeah. And I could just listen to them and they give me the right energy. Okay, favourite tune? Uh... I think it might be lonely. Lonely. It might be lonely. Yeah. yeah. Another track. Which one? Well, someone told me yesterday. Oh yeah, yeah. That when, when you, you took your, your love away. away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's so lonely. Like you don't need so lonely. Like, yeah, yeah. And it goes because so it changes. Yeah. So lonely. Yeah, that's a sick so lonely. one. <laughs> Bro, that's sick. Oh, that, yeah, you so low. Bro, it's the I, energy. Isn't I love the police as well, man. It's the yeah, energy yeah. And the, the, yeah. The, 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 the writing is amazing all the way through. Sting but, yeah, it's is insane. mindset. So I don't. When I listen to stuff as well, it's the artist and the artist is ethos and the way the artist moves. Yeah. When I can get into them and then understand, like, like I've, I mean, that's just one thing. I've, I've really kind of done a disservice, but I was forced to pick one thing. And if you now talking genres, it will vary to different stuff. Do you know there's different people in different genres. You yeah. got the soul, you got the you got the you got the rap, you got the you got the rock, you got the I don't know what we call Prince Rock, soft rock. Oof, he's a hard one. He was like rock, pop. Yeah, soul. Soul, R and B. Yeah, R and B. A little bit of rap I as like well. Tight, back as well. He released a rap album which was kind of not great, but yeah, I never heard that. He one. still did it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't you don't need to hear it. Yeah. <laughs> no, you don't. But I mean, music I think is something that's for the individual. Mm. And then also sometimes, depending on what's happened to you at the time it's released, Definitely. it can be very poignant for you as so well. So big, yeah. So this is these are the things, and it helps okay. how it helps you get. So does police things. have like a moment in time for you then? Yeah, a little bit sacred. Yeah, little that, bit sacred. Yeah, yeah, you know when you get an album right, yeah, and you play like I was driving. That's before I went to live in America, and like my kids got into it as well. And mm. I think I started off with Roxanne mm. from Forty Eight Hours. That's my introduction to the police. If you understand the, the the thing, yeah, yeah. So Eddie Murphy's film, he sung like rock and that's how yeah. I learned about him. I learned about a lot. I learned about a lot of things through film. Yeah, definitely. So, so then when I heard that, I was like, wow. And then um, I played it to the kids, 
And there's, there's, there, there was, on that album, there's a few, because Roxanne's on that album, Message in the Bottle's on that album. You ever played the Roxanne drinking game? No, what's that? Uh, so the guys drink on Roxanne and the girls drink on Put on the Red Light. Because you know, right at the end of the track, yeah. it goes, Put on the red light, Roxanne. Roxanne. Put like on constant. the red so you For constant. fuck's sake, wow. Right, that's the most intense drinking game you can ever play. If you play the Roxanne drinking game, you're smashed. Mash up. Yeah. Yeah, wow. That's I'm scared about it. You, you, you're like thinking about it now, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, okay, yeah, maybe I'll play it when I go on holiday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's talk about you and girls. Me and girls? What? Let's talk about you and girls. That was like a hundred percent. That's how it goes. What's going on? What do you want to know, bro? What do you want to know? What's your stance on love? What's my stance on love? What, where's my stance on love? What's your stance on love? Oof. Do you believe in love? I do. Very firm believer in love. Have you been in love? I have many times. Yeah, I like this. Yeah. I like this. Your yeah, heart been broken, huh? Heart been broken. <sighs> yeah, man. Everyone's has, I think, a little bit, right? You put yourself Only if out. Allow yourself if you if you put yourself out there, I think you're you know you're allowing that. Like you have to accept that it's a potential that you're gonna get hurt. You know, to be vulnerable is to also risk. You yeah. know, being hurt. But yeah, yeah, man. I'm a firm believer in love. What about you? Oh, me. I believe in love. I, I, everything, everything is to do with love for me. I, my 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 epicenter my yin and yang is just love like that's what's in there yeah like my heart isn't a heart it's just it's just this big ball of energy that yeah, yeah. is comprised of love i can see that bro yeah. that's it yeah that's how i think i am and it's like i love food i love people i love this i love that i have no inhibitions like the child you yeah said, yeah like, putting out love. that energy in the yeah, world too, yeah, too, yeah too love yeah. also i have no i'm not disillusioned Cause I put it out and someone just said, "Fuck it, it's a football, not a heart, not love." <laughs> well, let's kick that around. Yeah, you know exactly. I mean? Yeah, and yeah. Kicked it around and it's yeah, happened. Yeah, of like, course. You, you go back and you pick up your dilapidated heart. And yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You away, yeah. And you slowly recover. Yeah. And you see someone else playing a game and you jump in. I just, I don't know. I just, I, I'm, I'm a You're hopeless romantic. You still risk romantic. it for the biscuit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> of course. <man. laughs> I was still risk it for the biscuit. I will, I will, I will, I will let my heart be broken a million and one times if it means I can find proper true love. Bro, that's brave. Do you know what I mean? Do you have a significant other now? <laughs> he's thinking. He's thinking. Do I say it on the podcast? That's what. Do I have a choice now? You've got to. <laughs> uh, yes, you do. You could say no comment. Moving on swiftly. Yeah, moving on swiftly. I won't. I won't comment on that one. Yeah. No. Change topics. Why lie? There's someone that I care about. I think they're amazing. That's good, man. Do you know what I mean? There's someone I care about. I think they're amazing. I don't. I'm never. I'm not one to, to say okay, this is my wife or this is my this this is my this. I like things to just go organically. Yeah, definitely. If I feel like coming home to you every night, I come home to you every night. The time I don't feel like coming home to you, I don't come home to you. I just go on business, and that's how I. That's how I am. So staying true to yourself. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So. The answer is yeah. Sort of. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, cool, cool. But I'm celibate at the moment. So You're yeah, celibate. but I'm celibate. <sighs> Bro, I don't know. But I'm, I'm not telling you to keep your cock in your pants. I'm saying <laughs> I'm <laughs> cock in my pants. Fuck no, yeah, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, I'm not losing like, Yeah, head. yeah. I'm thinking about it though. Yeah, but like, you got to remember, how old are you? Uh, 27. 27. Yeah. I've got 20 years on you, buddy. Yeah, yeah. 20 years. Yeah. When I was 27, I probably would have said, Pff. you know what? I wouldn't have even said, Pff. I'd have been like, <laughs> 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 all right, bro. Is it working for you, though? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. In, in, in the respect that it's not the be one end all. I've had enough up until now. Yeah. I have. You have to, in life, as far as I'm concerned, you choose what you want and what you want to get out of it. If you don't focus on certain things, you can't be upset that you don't get what you want to get out of it. I've been watching a lot of people online, like, there's so many people do this, don't do that, eh, don't do this, mm. do this. You said it today, be true to yourself. So if I see something that isn't helping me and I think it's detrimental, I have to stop. Like, I stopped drinking because I don't think it was good for me. I love being drunk. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I could drink champagne. But people don't know me. I'll get drunk and I'm not, I'm a happy drunk. I'm so person, hey, drinks for everybody. That's the sort of drunk I am. I'll drink for days, like, but I'd say no, let me stop this now because the payoff isn't worth it compared to what I want to be doing, like with my career and everything. And I can't it's, be going on like that. Mate, I think it's such a good choice. Honestly, I think um men are 
told a lot of times the only way they can like receive um intimacy mm -hmm. is through uh sex and yeah. a lot of the times actually all i want is just like a hug like genuinely like or just some words of comfort obviously female energy is always really good and really yeah. positive to be around yeah but yeah i think guys a lot of the times these days are told like sex is the only way they can receive intimacy and you have to like take a step outside of that so the fact that you're doing that is so good because it's, it's like you can get intimacy in other ways just apart from that mm. you know? and i think when you when you tried what i'm trying now what happens is wait, wait. Oh, fuck. it's happened twice now yeah that's it what, what happens what happens is like when you stop putting salt in your food yeah. You start to taste the food. Yeah. When you stop eating sugar, if you go back to sugar... Wait, what are you tasting, though? Huh? What are you tasting? The food. Okay. When, it's not a metaphor. <laughs> it's not a metaphor, it's nah. Not, I not. eat pussies. It doesn't matter. <laughs> that's no problem. I've said it before this thing. Yeah, yeah, I, I there know, we go. If yeah. a man doesn't do it, that's just up to him. You know what I mean? Man, yeah. But I chow down hey, when I'm ready. If a man doesn't do it, yeah, it's not a man, business, honestly. You know I'm saying? Well, that's, yeah. that's, that's speculative, but I'm saying when it comes to cunning lingers... I'm very well versed. The same way I can dance, I can shout down. No, so I'm that's saying, not he's, not, I'm, I'm saying <laughs> no, no, he's not a true man if he doesn't do it. I know, I hear what you're yeah, saying. Yeah. I hear what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you hear that? If you don't eat it, yeah. you're not a real man. You're yeah, not. You're just not. Very <laughs> according cool. to Fox, that's yeah. the gospel according to Fox, yeah? That's yeah, not, exactly. I never said that. <laughs> I do eat it, though, but I never said that, though. <laughs> and I'm a real man. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> Fox, so what, where was we before we digressed? Uh, um, into talking about eating pussy. Yeah, no, know. you no. That was what came out of that question. That was a digression. <laughs> um, um, it's about to be Okay, so like you said, we look for comfort and um, uh, uh, um, solace, and also distraction. Yeah. Sometimes, like when you drink, you distract yourself from all the problems you've got going on. When you have sex, you think you're, everything doesn't matter. Escape. It's an escape. It's an yeah. escape. That's what yeah, I was, that's the word yeah. I was, It's escape. But you still have to come back to where you was before. Yeah, definitely. So you can't, until you address everything, you can't enjoy that. Until you're, as far as I'm concerned, until you address certain things. That's like, so true. Um, when you get yeah. to a certain point in your life, until you address certain things, you can't enjoy it. So yeah. when you're doing something to, to, it's, to, put, to, it's, to, to pay something else off uh, it doesn't, it doesn't it make just sense. made me think it's like advertisement in between a show yeah do you know what i mean Go on. it's like um if you're watching a tv program mm. and then there's like five minutes of advertisement mm. like that bit of you drinking or you like giving into your sort of like things that aren't helping you at the moment is like that advertisement and then the show is going to start like, again oh, once wow, it yeah. stops do you know what i mean yeah 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 yeah, like, yeah. it's like and like it's... a hiatus from your life and it's a distraction escape like yeah 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 it's so true and, and then... you still have to come back to it after still come yeah, back. yeah yeah, still yeah. Come back. that's and so it... true man yeah like, i never thought like, of it like that i'm seeing i've got someone in my life who's amazing um that's it. That's where that that that. No, 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 no. My thing is no. But my thing is no. That's not it. No, 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 no. Yeah, my yeah. thing is um, you have to do you. You have to know what you want and everything, and what you're trying to do with your life. You know what I'm mm. saying? So I want to see the whole movie through. Mm. I don't want the breaks. Yeah, man. Definitely. I want to see the whole movie. I like to I like see where movie. it ends. Yeah, exactly. See where, see where it begins. Enjoy the um crescendos and rides. Enjoy the the um. When the score goes up yeah. and comes down, because bam, that's of time rather than it cut into an advert. Yeah, exactly. And those adverts to me, like, we be they drinking, having sex, going out partying, some people, mm. overeating food, some people. Yeah. Um, is over maybe over exercising. Some people exercise, but are they over exercise yeah, well? Definitely, you're man. in the gym like too much. All those things are too much to me. Like, you yeah, need to definitely. do everything in moderation, but first, first things first. Got sorted the house, and I realized my house isn't sorted really, really, no. truly. So I need to sort my house. That is not sorted. <laughs> if it was sorted, I'd have a mansion on the hill. Like, and when I say mansion on the hill, I just have things patterned how I want to have them patterned. Like, yeah, definitely. I need a big, big bag. I just need things patterned how I want them patterned, but they're not patterned like that. So I've got no time for intervals. And London is like hard. Said, London's hard at the moment, man. Like, to live a life here is tough. Bro, it's tough. It's, it's, it's no life no. is tough at any given time, folks. Yeah. Like, that's this is what you have to remember. If you want to, if you want to talk about it in 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 uh, whatever's, you had to shit in a the hole. There was all that you had. You could die of dysentery. There was stuff in back in the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was hard, life was hard then. I was like, how did you grow up? Like, yeah. No, no. 
<laughs> I, I'm talking medieval times. I know, times, I, know I know, I know, I know. <laughs> but then you had the stuff in, in the 60s that we could, could kill you and the stuff here and the yeah. problems. They, they, we all, man, mankind always has problems. It yeah. can always be hard for us, but we can always make it easy for ourselves. It's like that YouTube clip. Have you seen that guy who's like, uh, uh, what is it? He's like, uh, tough times never last, only tough people last. Have you wow, seen I that? I haven't seen yeah, that. it's jokes. Yeah, is it yeah. true though? Yeah, it's true. Is it's it true? true? It's true. It's, it's true because it's, it's always gonna. It was gonna be something. If you think about your your journey now, yeah, you're standing there. You're, you're standing there. You're sitting there. Uh, good looking young boy. Um, achieved so much stuff. <laughs> achieved so much stuff. Come from a great family. Got good energy. Got good ethos. Got your feet down on the ground. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, Thank falling you, through the cracks. You played. You're welcome. You played um, Roxanne drinking games and. Only God knows what the shit you've done. And you're still sitting across the, the table from me. Some people came out, they came out with one arm or autism or something else or something else or something yeah. else. They didn't even get as far as you or I or you've got. You know what I'm saying? Some people got... got to be grateful. Halfway yeah. there. Yeah. Like you you got to be grateful, but I want you to be aware. Yeah, There's yeah. that grateful thing, but be aware that you've made it this far, that you're, you've actually... Like, gratefulness is cool. But acknowledgement is important. Yeah, definitely. You're here. You you pass it. You it's pass so it. True, pass it. So don't make yeah. one little thing if you fucking don't, fold you up. If you don't acknowledge, then you can't move on. You can't move you, forward. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You've made it here. So someone who made it all the way here and then meets a girl and then the girl, oh my god, my girl, I don't, don't want to do anything now. I want to kill myself. The fuck you doing, bro? You made it all this way and because of one person, one relationship, you want to kill yourself. I understand emotions are deep and they're hard. Yeah, work, definitely. But really, people like people out there, just be aware of who you are and how far you've come. Like, I see a fierce person in front of me. Do you know what I'm saying? That's to be honest with you. Your dad, woo! <laughs> but you're your own person as well in your own right. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. And you, only you know how you've got here. I know how I've got to here. I know the shit that I've seen and I've done, but I'm still here. So, yeah, life's hard, but it's life, man. Yeah, definitely. We're you gotta winners. Keep going. You got to keep going. We're winners. You keep going or fucking die. Yeah, that's true. 50 man. Cent. Love that guy. Yeah. yeah. Rich or die, <laughs> die trying. trying. Simple. It's Clean cut. It's so is that simple. the motto? Is that the motto? Um, <laughs> I would, I would change it because yeah. although I know that I need money to do stuff, I love people. Yeah, I love family. I love interaction. I want to get, I want to say get rich, but the money's needed. I'd, I'd want, I want an, an environment where. Maybe next year. No, next year I want to do pool parties for my people, though. Yeah, yeah. Not pool yeah. parties for everyone. And the girls fall in love. With no pool parties for people that's been on the show. People that yeah. I know and break bread. And oh, you want to do the you want to do the Jamie Fox thing. I, want, I like yeah, family. Yeah. I like that's family. What, that's what he did. Like in America, like that's what Snoop Dogg would come down and Kanye, and that's yeah. how slow jams got created as See, well. That, that's what I want. Yeah, that's, like that's the me. melting pot of yes, just like yeah. do that. Yeah, yeah. Die trying. Right, no, don't even do that. No, David, die trying. Do that before dying. But the reason why, like, the hundred percent. But the reason why that is like successful is because you've realised that people is the way, the route to success. Like surrounding yourself with people who are like yourself, who are like inventive creators. You know, um, there are going to be the ones that hold you up to help you get to where you need to go. No man is an island. Do you know? Definitely, what I mean? yeah. definitely not. And I, I appreciate that. I don't want to be like I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a hippie or nothing like that. Mm -mm. But if I can get that, no, it's not about that. Revelation, it's I'm about like a community, like and you're creating that. You that's what you're doing. Like mm. doing that creates a community. And that's all I want. That will help each other out. Yeah. Like regardless of what that will become, it's just like and yeah, it's it. community. Even if the helping out isn't me becoming famous, getting a bag, whatever, whatever. Yeah. But I know every week. I can go there. I know your kids. You know my kids. We break bread. We laugh. Yeah. I can say if I got a problem, I can talk to you. Can say, oh, you know what? Don't worry about it. You can know what? Shut the fuck up. Pull your finger out your ass. Put yourself <laughs> out. Yeah, exactly. That's that's what I want in a community of decent people. Yeah. People who kind of know themselves and even that can come to me when they need help from me as well. That's so, what I'm so. So what to you're create. saying is this is utopia. this is this is the vetting process. Is what you're saying. Yeah. This, this yeah. podcast is the yeah. vetting process. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, no, this is one of them. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Other vetting process. <laughs> people, have, it's other people that have been vetted. This is like the Billy Elliot. It goes yeah, on for yeah. a long time. Uh, like, ah, right, you're uh, cool. You can come yeah, in. You now. can. This is you can come in your inner circle now. Exactly. Yeah, and that's it. I wasted too much time with shit. Bro, did I pass? That's the Yeah, so you're doing right. You're doing right. Yeah, I think I think I think you you get in because you know like when you when someone goes to the school before you. Yeah. So because your dad came on, you're good. Oh sweet man. <laughs> so even, vouch, even if you don't even pass your dad vouch, get invited and he can bring you because you're his son. Yeah, 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 exactly. It's, it's yeah. all in, it's all in. Yeah, you're not yeah, a friend exactly. of mine, you're a friend of ours. Now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Donnie <laughs> Brasco. Yeah. Um 
Talk about your music, um, your inspiration, inspiration for music. Where do you, where do your inspirations come from? You know, like um, some people they talk or sing about love, they sing about. Uh, that's uh, where it comes from, man. Yeah. yeah. Um, all my stuff is about that. It's about my relationships, about what I've been through in my relationships, um, cool. about, yeah, trying to understand them a bit more. You know, trying to sort of reconcile them as well. Whether that's like go back and look introspectively at myself during them. But I think most of my music has like a one singular theme in it. My mate told me this the other day. Mm. My mate Alexei. He said, um, "Big up Alexei! Big up Alexei! Come on!" Um, he said, "He said they all have like a center of like longing in them. Like every song I write has this like little piece of like longing. Like whether that's longing for more understanding of a partner or longing for a time you had or like." anything there's that's the sort of like central theme of my music like wanting to know someone more or yeah uh, or get closer so yeah that's that's the place i kind of write from it's sort of like a i guess it's like a prayer for understanding mm. you know not only myself but also my partner as well how do you so feel? that's yeah go on, go on, sorry. no that's just where i write from yeah how do you feel about that like do you because i write poetry yeah and like, i'm very aware like there's been times when my mind's been on a specific topic, and it comes through my right comes through my writing. Yeah. But then because I'm aware of that, sometimes I try to write something down the road. Like I try imagine if I'm writing about love, I, just, I say fuck it, let me write about Sesame Street. Yeah. Let me just try yeah. and write about Sesame Street, just to give just 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 to see, not just to see if I can write about it, just to kind of change. As it an up. exercise. Yeah, just to yeah. kind of change it up for myself. Yeah. Like, but saying that. There's also, I wrote a book about love and there's, there, we have stages as artists that mm. you will write about certain things and then you'll like this stage you write about this and then you write about that yeah. and your life reflects what what's you're coming going out through. of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically. I think that's the thing for me uh, is I think my art is a reflection of what, obviously it's ev like everything I'm going through, but I try to write from the subconscious as much as I can. Mm. Like when I'm playing the guitar, I try and write from a place of just like not really thinking about what I'm saying and then whatever I say sort of tends to be the thing that I'm thinking at the back of my head mm. in a way. Mm -hmm. I don't know. How, yeah, I try to write from the subconscious as much as possible because when I like, um, you know, sort of put my mouth around the words and they come out normally that's i'm like oh yeah that's exactly what i'm i'm feeling at the back of somewhere you know mm -hmm. it connects with me so i try and write from there as much as i possibly can um and not think too much about <coughs> yeah like subject matter or just yeah write what i know which is relationships and that's the stuff i like to write about yeah what's, what's your what's your fun list now because you've done so much stuff what was it like when you came out you done the first Billy Elliot. And the yeah, show. Yeah, because you do, that's when he does a jump at the end, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, you yeah. jump at the end and everything. Um, and the whole intensity of the dance move things and everything. Yeah, like, the bro. energy. How was it like, are you cold? Mm. Yeah, I'm cold as a motherfucker too, man. Are you cold? Yeah, I'm cold, but I'm, I'm a firm it. I got, firm yeah, it. I got the jacket. Yeah, you got the lumberjack man. show. Yeah, you're bro. doing good, man. <laughs> um, um, yeah, how was that for you? The first out? show? Yeah. That's amazing, man. Like, it, it, I was the break it down for yeah, me. Yeah, just the the scariest thing uh at one point, but just the you know, the most thrilling thing. And that's what they say, isn't it? If you're if you're doing something that makes you nervous, you're probably in the right place. Mm -hmm. It's like when I get up to sing on the mic, even now, because I care about it, when I go play live tunes, I still get nervous. Uh even though I'm, you know, uh had some good practice and some uh experience under the belt, it's still I still get nervous. I still really care about doing a good job. And yeah, uh, that was the first time with Billy. It was like, oof, man, I was like shaking like a leaf the whole time. It was just yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ten, yeah. Tender hooks, man. And yeah. um, when I stepped out on stage, I forgot everything for a short second. It was like this wall blank. of just like blank. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then suddenly it just like came back and I just felt confident. It was mm. like, yeah, it was just breathing. Just like, just like breathing, you know, uh, yeah. just in the flow and once you once you've done the first couple of lines it was, it was right after yeah that. yeah definitely but it was it was petrifying at the at first but then you know you sort of all your training all your time kicks back in and all yeah it really does you just feel confident you know mm. um that you've got yourself you've you've got it yeah you ever fucked up 100 percent, all the time 
<laughs> wait, wait, in the show or in life? Yeah, in the oh, show. Right, okay, in, yeah, in the yeah. show, no, in the show. Yeah, yeah. Complac- yeah. Complacency ever fucked you up. Um, uh, and, and, and when you fucked up, what's been your biggest fuck up and how did you cover it? Um, like on stage, because you know no one on knows. Stage. On a film, you can see it. On stage, it's hard. Yeah, one. yeah. Yeah, if, yeah. on stage, it's hard, but you can cover shit on stage. No on, one's seen, seen the show before? No, on stage, you you yeah, yeah, on stage, it's hard to cover. So, um, yeah. Uh, no, you think it's hard to cover on stage? You think so? I think it's hard to cover on stage. Let's TV, you can, just, TV you can just TV uh, can just get rid you're of that take. Yeah. No, but when, when, I, when I say it's easier on stage, it's like... Um, I've jumped whole fucking sections. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've jumped same, whole fucking sections same, on, same, on stage, same. right? Whole yeah, sections. I've done like nine yeah, yeah. pages cut, really, cut out before. Yeah. Oh, and yeah, I've yeah. I've realized I've jumped from this line to this line. line. Yeah, yeah. What the fuck could I do? And then it's like, um, maybe another actor says, maybe you want to grab this book, don't you? But I was supposed to arc for the book. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Kind of add them yeah. And say, maybe you're looking for this book. <laughs> or I'll be like, if you just do, do yeah, stuff yeah, to Yeah, yeah, you have to. Back. Yeah, yeah. And that, I think, is where the money's at. Yeah, yeah, you know definitely. You, when you know you fucked up, yeah, you come back. That's that's the kind of thing I'm saying. And you have what to you work do? together with whoever your the scene partner is as well you can to fuck sort them of up. Re, re-find your place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's you got, the you worst. Got, you got, um, what you got I think blind, the worst the one lines. is just like, as long as you're improving, it's fine. The worst is if you get to a place where it's just dead silence. You know, where it's just like the audience is waiting for something, and you're waiting for something, and you're not sure what the next. Ver- you're, oh, oh, yeah. You know, that's yeah. I've been there before. That's not fun. Have you what have you, what have you done? What's the funniest thing you've done? Uh, I've, I've, I've 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 not me. I've done it. I don't want to say I've done it, but I might have done it. But I know other people have done it. Like I've got in my line, but I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do. They keep the same energy. Yeah, yeah. They, they say that. They're, <laughs> okay, they're, put in my line. I don't care. I want to do what I do. That's and amazing. You're gonna keep watching, aren't you? Yeah, that's yes, amazing. Yes, you are. And then keep going. You I know? love that. Yeah, yeah. Just owning it completely. Yeah, you own it. Basically. That's wicked. Uh, for me, it was just yeah. I was in like a version of Pinocchio a while ago. Um, super... I would ask you all the plays you've done. Oh my god, that was super Go. embarrassing, man. I had to wear this skin tight suit and I had like a jock strap on, and it was yeah, just, yeah, yeah. it was like a kids thing as well. It was not. It was that was that was not fun. No, no, no. <laughs> Running around in a skin tight suit in front of kids is is yeah, not the one. Yeah, I don't know who yeah, thought yeah. that was a good idea. Spider Man, but... did you still do show? Huh? Or was it? Do you still do show? Uh, yeah, yeah. Like I've got an agent, um, and yeah, go up for auditions when I when I can. Um, but yeah, um, yeah. I know if it was good enough for Spider Man, who I who I grew yeah, up with. Yeah, Superman, Spider Man. Come on, man. I grew up with Tom. I'm a superhero. Well. Who? Tom Holland. Tom Holland. Tom Holland. He's here. He was the one. Who's Tom? He was a Billy. El- Bill- he was Billy Elliot. He was a Spider Man. Billy the- Elliot was Spider Man, innit? Yeah. So okay, because I'm terrible and I've watched Spider Man. Which Spider-Man was he? Was he Amazing Spider-Man? No, he's not Andrew Garfield. He's the other white boy. But you and this white boy team. <laughs> All Spider-Mans are white though in there. Was there a black Spider-Man? I know, I know. I'm I just, love it. You know I'm you're my favourite white boy, right? I'm Come just on. taking it. Ah! Thank you, <laughs> Um... No, I can't think of him. No, I just said it earlier because the Oasis. No, you're good. Right. No, you're good, man. Don't worry about that. We're good. I like it. I like it. You go. It's pants. You got to keep yeah, going. Yeah, you think yeah. it's say it. Remember, we talk how we want to talk. You'll definitely come to the fucking barbecue. <laughs> Tell you what, you'll fit right in. Um, I don't know who he is. Oh, bro, he's just one of the latest Spider Man. Okay, yeah. and he could, not the one from not the one, the one, the one from um, Twilight. Yeah. Yeah, he's the one from Twilight. Let's say he's one of those ones. Yeah. Is he that one? No, no let's just say, yeah, yeah. No, the one from Twilight done fucking Batman. Where's Spider Man? <laughs> bro, he's about... actually so good in that, though. Like, what, Batman? Ba- have you seen it? No, yeah, 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 it's yeah. It's really yeah, 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 good. Yeah, yeah. No, that, that Batman. That Batman is nice actually so good. You can't, you see, you can't. Because he's a detective in it. Yeah. That's why it's so good, is Batman was always a detective. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, that's yeah, the yeah. first time he's actually ever done detective work. Because he's he was always supposed to be the greatest detective in the world. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, no. But then, what, what, has he never done detective work in 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 in? in? No, no, oh. the other one. Has he never done detective work in any other other Batman really like that? I don't think so. Not really. But he went he went in on that one, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, because that's like a murder mystery, isn't it? Yeah. They're trying to figure out who's pulling all the strings, and it turns out to be the Riddler. But yeah, and he, and he says about fear. Yeah, that one fear. I really like. I did like it. I like to build in the Joker. <laughs> do you yeah, like Joker? Yeah, of course, man. Yeah, the, I'm, read, the, I'm reading. No, 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 the, the Jacqueline Phoenix one. Joaquin Phoenix. Wait, Joaquin Phoenix. Who? Yeah, the Joker. Oh, the joke. Oh, Joker. Yeah, no, yeah, I yeah, like yeah. Heath Ledger's Joker, but I mean, yeah. the film Joker. Oh, oh, I watched yeah. it once. Everyone was like, it's I so was, good. It's so I good. wasn't so keen. I didn't like it. That no, much. I didn't really like it. My sons loved it, but I didn't like it. That Did much. they? Mm. No, I wasn't so keen on it. I just, I don't know. I didn't Blah. connect with it. And I'm like, uh, why do we need more? Blah. Yeah. That's him, man. Oh, he's good. I like him. Yeah, he's good. 
Are you British? Mm. Okay, yeah. I like, what, what, what did he, so he was the original Billy Elliot? No, no, no. He was just when I was doing it as well. Oh, he was with you, didn't he? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, it's good so if you, it's man. good enough for him dressing up in skin tights, so it's good yeah, enough for yeah, me. Yeah, 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 yeah. What dressing else you done? Up as Pinocchio, yeah, huh? What else have you done? Um, I've done a thing called I Was a Rat, which was a book written by Philip Pullman. Do you know the guy who wrote The Golden Compass? Yeah, I don't, I don't know the guy who wrote The, the Golden the, Compass, but the I know materials. The Golden Compass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know so, The Golden Compass. I know so that story. The, the guy who wrote that is called Philip Pullman, and um, he also wrote a book called I Was a Rat, and that got adapted into a stage show, which was really cool. Um, what, was it, what was it about? Um, it's kind of like the what if, if one of the... You know when Cinderella changes the Mice or, into, uh, yeah exactly yeah, yeah, yeah. it's yeah. it's what if one of yeah you knew it you're, you're one plate. step ahead know, you it's it's, 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 like you, it's it's like what if the the one of the mice uh, as a page boy gets lost and doesn't turn back into a mouse and that's how the show starts it starts as like he meets like a washerwoman and a cobbler mm. and they kind of adopt him and look mm. after him and he goes through lots of weird trials and tribulations it is similar to sort of pinocchio where he he unfortunately runs into the wrong people who try and use him and like you know he's different so they try and use that against him so that's kind of what the story is about yeah yeah um so yeah that was a good one um and then just like little commercials and stuff like that but just yeah mainly been focused on music these days and um i was telling mac as well before we start um oh sorry what were you gonna say I feel like we missed your film career. You said you've done some movies. No, no, no. no I wish no. Um, no movies. Uh, just theatre at the moment. A okay. little bit. You of, will um, do soon. Hopefully, man. Fingers crossed. Yeah. Fingers crossed. We'll put you in one. Don't worry. Yeah, come on, man. We'll um, on. Yeah, do some writing for me. What's yeah, that? Yeah. We just write a story. We just push out. Who can we? We need a white boy. We need a white guy. We need a white guy. Need a white guy. <laughs> oh yeah, Fox. <laughs> no, you're like oh yeah, uh, Andrew Tom Holland. Uh, yeah, no, someone, Andrew Fox, Garfield. No, Fox like, Jackson, the one Fox in the Jackson. tights. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly, yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, just been focusing on music more these days um, and going to try and spend more time, like I was saying, in the studio um, over the next couple months. Because I don't know if you know this, do you put on many gigs? I've put on stuff before, but I wasn't, yeah. I'm not sure. Not, so I you know what it's like when you try and put on a gig, you have to chase people, you've got to, you know... Um, oh yeah, putting on an event, it's not, it's not easy. You're not it's walking not. apart, buddy. No, it's not, is it? No, that's why, that's why I've and set I've my been, event in June, bro. Yeah, and that's, what, time. that's the thing, and I've been doing that for six years with the band, you know, playing gigs in places around London oh. and event planning, chasing people, you know, and if you don't get people through the door as an artist, you don't get paid. That's the thing. Bookers will book you, but if you don't get a certain amount of number in 20 to 30 people or 15 to, you know, whatever, um, you know, you, you write the names down that you brought in and you get paid from just the names. So it's like, uh, if you're not event planning and pushing yourself as hard as possible when it comes to live playing, mm. you're not getting the cash. And like that's mm. that's what I've been doing for six years and I kind of burnt myself out now. So I'm sort of more focusing on studio time. Um, I'll do gigs for people here and there. I've got one on the 9th um, of January at The Ned, which is in uh, London. You know, yeah. it's the owned by Soho House. You know, Tiny Desk. Oh, I love Tiny Desk, man. We didn't want to do IO's Tiny Desk. Bro, I'm here. No, we can't call it Tiny Desk, though, can we? Bro, I'm call here. Call, call it IO's Little Desk. IO's Little Desk, yeah, yeah. You're still IO's Big Desk. IO's Desk. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Bro. I'm looking at the venue. And yeah, yeah. Bro, I'm there. Yeah, well, I've got I would a love of that. And that coming through. We're talking about that on yes, camera. Yes, mate. Yeah. But I'll be doing that. I would love that. As well, so we, we can maybe figure something yes, out. On yes, yes, mate. Yeah. And I think with, with with those things, I don't know, with with um, regularity, diversity, like every mm. time you change your stuff, just keep getting bums on seats, bums on seats. Collaborations. Yeah. We'll get it going, man. What's your yeah. favourite song you produced? Favourite song that I've produced? Um, I'm really a big fan of the one we just put out recently. It's called uh, Anything For You. And it's not like free tea, sorry. I will do anything, anything for, for you, love. But I won't do that. <laughs> um, ah, I'm dead. Um, I won't do that. Let me not do that this equipment. <laughs> um, yeah, man. come on. Um, but I won't do that. But I won't do that. Um, 
but yeah, that's a really cool one because that's our. I took big um, like inspiration from Sade from that tune because okay. I'm a massive Sade fan, and she's got this really cool song called "Nothing uh, Can Come Between Us," okay. where it's just like sixteenth notes on the guitar that drives the rhythm throughout the whole track. Um, Check that out. Uh, it's so so good, man. If you haven't heard it, it's absolutely amazing. Um, it's called uh, "Yeah, Nothing Can Come Between Us," and it's off her album. Um, I think it's off. Uh, Love is Stronger Than Pride, which is also an amazing track. Um, but yeah, we, I kind of had that in my head and I wanted like a groove-based song with that sort of timing, with that sort of rhythm. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, that's the one we put out recently and I really love it. It's like Justin Timberlake crossed between Sade. It's called Anything For You. It's out on Spotify. So yeah, if you want to take a oh, listen, we'll please do. Yeah, it it's, it's, it's good. It's good. Um, that's that's the favorite thing I've made so far. It's a little bit... No, your tune is called... Uh, Anything For You. Anything For You. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I've got... You got, I got um... Can you tell everybody back home your social media hooks where they can find you, where they can hear your music? Okay, please? so you can find me. I'm at Fox Jackson on pretty much all platforms. That's Instagram, Spotify, all that stuff. So, yeah, please take a look. Please take a look. No, go and take a look. Yeah, yeah. No, Why are you looking look. now, actually? You've been watching this for yeah, how long? Look go at the and, thing. Go and take I'm a look. There, and man. Enjoy like, just it. have a look. Listen to what's going on. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Inspired. Exactly. You know Thank you. Broaden Warren. your horizons. I appreciate Open that, Open up man. your mind. Bro, you have to be my hype man. Come yeah, on, yeah. Don't worry, man. I'm already hype man. you're so good. I got you. I got you. Bro, you got me. Um, How many medals you won doing your gymnastics? Uh, I think... I won gold about four or five times uh, for best in London. And then I won best, um, I was fourth in the UK finals. Nice. Um, in the, yeah, all of the UK. Nice. So, what yeah. apparatus? Everything. Like, Fuck uh, you yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> yeah. nice. like, when you're a kid, you don't just specify. You specify yeah. So when you're a kid, you're doing everything until you start to specify like floor or you know pommel rings whatever yeah, 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 yeah. um but my favorite was always floor obviously because you get to do the, the tricks yeah yeah, 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 yeah. You must I, be strong as an ox though bro i loved yeah i was absolute tank when i was like i was in the best shape of my life but you still like, be strong though now yeah yeah you get like mature muscle you mm -hmm. know when you work out as a young kid mm -hmm. like it stays so yeah thank god um my well, nephew's so, a gymnast he's like a beast is he how old you know, i think he's 16 He's doing it since he was four. Mate, I bet like, he's got he... hands like hooks. Yeah, proper tank. Because of the rings. You know that yeah, ring? yeah. Like, his hands are like of hooks course. because they have to And it's all to... calisthenic and it's all just yeah. like natural muscle yeah, yeah, as well. Yeah. It's, it's amazing, bro. Like a brick shit oh, honestly, like... it's the yeah. best. It's yeah, the best. Yeah, 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 yeah. good. Yeah. Go on. Um, so yeah, did um, one uh, like fourth in the UK finals and then obviously like Billy came in the way um, and stopped uh like chasing that as a career path because I really wanted to do acting, dancing, singing. How did More that creative. compare? Like, um, let, let me answer the question, the full question. How did that compare? You know, going up on a podium and getting a gold medal. Yeah. And getting the curtain called ah, at the end of the show. Yeah. How did that compare? Because they're two, like, they're giving you kudos. Yeah, they? yeah, they are. They're sort of like you, yeah, yeah, the validating medal, your skills. Validate, you're, yeah, you're yeah. Really as well. you're, the, you're, the, you're the main character as well, so... You know, and then also when they go like, on, which ones used to get me when they just like, oh here's Billy, Elliot. ah, here's the villain, boo, yeah, like, yeah. But you know he's done a good job. Yeah, exactly. Booing, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah. I think equally we're just as great because it was just like, you know, just as a kid you're just doing a good job and getting claps for it, you know. Um, but I, obviously Billy was like, yeah. The amazing like it doesn't com nothing compares to like getting through the end of the show and having people give you like a standing ovation yeah. um yeah. i'm getting embarrassed <laughs> i'm getting embarrassed would you i not get embarrassed when i get when i get cut i don't I, i'm yeah, cutting cool yeah, why i do not fucking know I no probably the same reason i get butterflies i don't know yeah i don't know seriously i can't like i don't I don't I like mind getting it, you're like finish the whole show, like you go, you go really hardcore, and then you're just like, oh shucks, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm listening to that. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> I'm like that. I oh man, I don't know why. What do you think that is? No, I don't. I don't know. I think that, and I think that I already give me doing the lines or delivering something to the best possibility I can. Yeah, is enough for me. Yeah. 
I don't mind people saying, yeah, well done, the fame, fame, fame. But when it becomes too intense, mm. it's not like I did it for that. I got, I really got my payoff. Yeah. Like, literally, I got my payoff. When I bust that line, and I was like, I, I know I gave that line everything. I believed I was that character. Yeah, yeah. I, I went in like, <laughs> you know, like in the cruise where I come in and said, hey, I come in the line, I'm like, what do you mean she's a witch? I'm the man, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So I get off on that. I enjoy doing it. And if I know I do it right, and yeah, I don't throwing yourself a into the role. of life, yeah, yeah. like, I'm good with it. So yeah, then, yeah. like, I don't mind people saying, yeah, well done. But yeah. I feel like I've done it now. I've just, I don't need all of that. Like, sweet, thank you. Like, I just get, I don't know. I get bashful. I don't know what it is. I don't know. What it is. And I love Maybe acting. it's because you're in the character and then after, like, it doesn't feel like they're clapping for you almost. Yeah, like, maybe. It's like they're clapping for the character. Yeah. You know? Maybe. Maybe, I, I don't I, know. I, you I, just throw I, yourself into it. So, yeah. You know, yeah. But I just find that funny. But I love, I, I love stage is, is so fucking exhilarating it's food for the soul man it's yeah. so exhilarating yeah. like just be able to do it and throw the I don't mind people in the moment you know like mm. laughing at bits you have to stop and pause sometimes because yeah. they're so into certain lines just timing yeah have you ever um, done a show sorry man I'm just all over the place it's all good bro and um, this is one of the worst things I do when I do shows <laughs> You expect people to laugh. When you get a laugh here, you expect them to laugh here, but they don't laugh here. Oh, and yeah. And then they laugh, but they laugh here. That's something they're supposed to laugh at. Weird moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And you're waiting for them to laugh. And it throws you off, yeah. Yeah, because you're so yesterday. used to an audience, one thing. But it's so true. That happens all the time where you expect something from a performance and then it just it completely... Different. Yeah, yeah, definitely. That throws me that Yeah, yeah, it does, it but does. Yeah, yeah. It I challenges your, like, preconceptions of, like, yeah, yeah, it's good. Oh, Live theater, you can't yeah. have any preconceptions. No, you can't. You've got to keep And it should be different every night as well. Yeah. Your dream collaboration. Oh, dream collaboration. Damn. Probably like... It's here now with Ayo Bawale. Yeah. No, I'm guessing, I'm we're guessing, here, I'm guessing. We're here, we're here. Go, 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 go. Um, <laughs> probably like uh, musically, obviously. Yeah, musically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously podcast, I'm here. You know, yourself. Bam, 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 bam. He's coming back with his guitar because he didn't bring his guitar. Yeah, I know, I And know. he said that he doesn't sing a cappella. I'm so sorry, needs... man. Come yeah, on, yeah. No, it's all right. It's Wait, all right. can you beatbox? Can you beatbox? Yeah, yeah beatbox. Yeah, um, yeah man. Um, what kind of what kind of beat do you need? No, 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 that's funny. You... <laughs> um, I'd probably say my uh, my favorite collab would probably be like Anderson Pack or Tom Mish. I love those two at the moment. Who are they? Uh, Anderson Pack and Tom Mish. Yeah. Uh, Anderson Pack is the guy working with Bruno Mars with Silk yeah, Sonic at the moment. Just really soulful stuff. Like if you I like, like if you like rap and you like soul, Anderson Pack is like the perfect crossover yeah. of rap and soul. He is absolutely amazing. And then Tom Mesh is just, yeah, another, yeah, another blue eyed soul white guy like me who's making, uh, you know, really fun, interesting soul tracks. Mm. Um, uh, very jazzy, you know, neo soul chord progressions. It's, it's good. Yeah. So those two would be absolutely amazing. They're my, they're my faves at the moment. Um, yeah. Female Sadao. No, yeah, of course. Yeah, FK yeah. FKJ. Yeah, yeah. 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 And Masego. Yeah. I love Masego as well. Yeah. He rates himself so high, but he yeah. he he deserves it. He plays everything. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. He can play he everything. He yeah, he's it, yeah. oh yeah, he's one of those man. He can just do everything. Yeah. Oh, he's so good. Tadal. Yeah, you know. Is that, that his one. real name? No, no, no. Masego, the artist. Masego. Yeah. Tadal. Tadal is the song. Tadao. Oh, Tadal is the song. Tadal is the song. Tadal. Yeah. Tadal. 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 Someone's calling me. Sorry, um, Fox. Do it, man. I need, to just, I need to call them back quickly. Go, go, go. But I want you to think about this question. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, when you say celibate. <laughs> when I say celibate, you really want to go back there? The no, 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 no. You want to know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How? I don't yeah. give, but I may, I, may, I, may, I may receive once in a while. Wait. 
What? No, I'm not gay. <laughs> no, I'm not gay. No, I wasn't saying that. I was I was just oh. saying like surely <laughs> Because it sounded gay. No. Yeah. Pause. Pause is all right, pause. No, no, no. Because <laughs> I don't mind if you're no, gay, you're gay, if you also, give you receipt, also, where's no your judge, business? No it's judgment. Cool. There's no yeah, judgment. Yeah, yeah, you listen, do what you want to do. Whatever floats your boat. Listen, this podcast. No, no, is no, a, no, it's don't a safe, try that. It's a safe space. Man. Don't try that. It's a safe space. Don't try that. I saw him coming from miles away with that one. You knew it was that uh, I'm uh, dead. Yeah. So on this bucket list, going back to the bucket. But, but surely, surely, if you were celibate, it would mean that you could give but not receive, right? No. No. Does it? No, because like I thought you could I'm like with another person how you could bend the rules but not break them is if like you were giving but not receiving. And that's giving like put yeah head, giving, put yeah head, head or whatever yeah, 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 yeah. even pussy or whatever yeah. Mm. Because then that's think, not I you. Because if you bust, surely that's that's game over. Yeah, but I'm sure you. If you you can, you can. I don't. I know people that could bust from sucking pussy. That's true. Do you know what I mean? Once that's you're true. in, once you're in the Pe- zone, you're people in the zone. are into some stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's once true. You're in, the, it's true. in the zone, you're in the zone. I mean, I've seen some things on the internet that I would not like. I wish I could <laughs> unsee. <laughs> But like, I've, I didn't, you know, to be fair, I didn't even watch it. Like, because I'm not that guy. I got a very vivid mem- imagination. Oh, no. people, with people, like people, they're stamping on their balls and all that kind of like Ooh. that. Uh, that S shit. Nah, miss that, me with that. That's not for you. Don't even. Nah, don't even dig your nails in me when we're having sex. Fuck that. No, I mean, unless it's kissing and caressing. Nah. No, 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 <laughs> nah, 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 okay. nah, 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 nah. I've had, I've had women who have wanted to wanted a little slap and a little, or be strangled around the throat and all that, or give them a good scene to that. That's up to them. That's their preference. But me, I like to be soft and sensual. If you're touching me, be nice. You know what I mean? Don't punch me, don't scratch me, don't slap me, don't... Nah, see, I'm the opposite. I like it when, like, a girl treats me like they want to commit a war crime on my body, bro. Wow, yeah? Yeah. It's all right, that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's, that's it. We will your body. If that not not stamping, not stamping. <laughs> no, no, no. That's, that's too... That's, that's, yeah, that's... Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. That. Wherever, wherever, go, wherever goes, and it's like, I don't know, I just feel like... I don't know what it is. Like, I don't know whether it's the... the uh, my personality, bro. Listen, um, different strokes for different folks. Yeah, no, no, but I'm, I'm trying to li- literally, we're, we're trying to open it up. literally open different up strokes right for different folks. Nah, for man. fuck's sake! <laughs> 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 but um, yeah, I don't know if it's my sexuality. I'm not my sexuality. I don't know if it's my um, the way I am as a man or my personality or whatever. Yeah, but I'm. I like to be in charge. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I don't want to be dominated. I don't need to be. I don't need to be like. Like flying around, be, I'm not like bullying or nothing like that. But I don't want a girl feeling like, "Come here, I want to fuck you." Nah, it's just not the way it goes. Have like, you ever tried? Have I tried? Yeah, bitch, um, women, I just said the wrong thing nearly. Then I'm standing like I'm running American. I'm glad I said it. <laughs> but I check myself, so you know how I talk anyway. So it is what it is. I don't believe that. Yeah. Anyway, like <laughs> women have tried to throw me around. Like, this is all out. Yeah, nah, it's all good. We're leaving this in. Oh, oh, oh. This is staying oh, in. This no. stays in. This stays in. Oh no, we don't mind. What we, what we like. Life is about talking. If yeah. you're going to have certain conversations, have the conversations. Yeah, definitely. If you're not hurting anybody, I'm happy to have the conversations. Yeah, you know, 100%. Like, all the, all the you stuff that you've done online and uh, like sing, singling out mm. certain races, certain um, sexualities, certain ages, certain groups. That's all wrong to me. You know what I mean? But if I'm talking about myself, if I'm... Yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> no, it, it matters, but I'm not ashamed. Yeah, because it's your life as well. Yeah, and, it, and, it, and people don't need to watch it. Yeah. Those are the two things. You don't have to watch it and listen to what we're saying. Yeah. And it's my life. I'm not actually to drove, so it's cool. Yeah. So that's why I think it's all right, but yeah, I don't want to be dominated. I remember one time, yeah, and this is why I don't sleep with girls bigger than me no more, right? I said, if a girl she's bigger than me, look, hey, it's fucking loving. Hey, yo, Mac, even if we do, Mac, <laughs> Mac even paying attention. <laughs> yeah, get the yeah, fuck yeah, out of yeah. here. Take yeah, notes. he's learning. He's learning, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah this is so, all part of the process. Yo, the girl, she's really pretty. Yeah. Really nice, but she was wham. She was almost the same height as me, but she was wham. And I don't know if it was like I wanted to climb that mountain or whatever. Because yeah. she's wham. I know usually like a petite woman, but she was wham. So she's like, cool. Stayed at her house. When, when linked to her, she was in, in the in the like Amazonian type. Um, no, Amazonian. Like she was like. Have you seen Kel Duckula? <laughs> no, 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 no. Have you seen Remember Kel Duckula? Remember Nanny? Is it a cartoon? No. no. <laughs> she was, she was, <laughs> you know what it's, no, it's you have to way. show me after no, the show. Yeah, you, you have to show me. Yeah, you gotta show me. Yeah, she was 
I don't know what I don't know what I was thinking. Like no, I know what I was thinking. Like listen, hey, you want beauty, to try, nah, 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 there's beauty in everything and everybody. Yeah, there is, there and is. I saw beauty in this woman and I enjoyed her. Like it didn't matter her demeanor. Um, one minute. Uh, yeah. Can you see the one with the, with, the, with the sling shot, with the sling on? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You remember, yeah, yeah. Like, you remember that? Look, you yes, remember yeah, that? yeah, yeah, yeah. The nanny was wham. Yeah, this is like one of those... Um, she's wham anyway. Yeah, she's yeah. wham. She's not coming. I'm she's fucking super you. wham. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I'm fucking... Okay. Anyway. <laughs> so we done what we doing, and then we fell asleep, innit? I tried to sleep at her house or whatever. So we was on like... It wasn't like... This is back in the day when we was, I was young. I was a young cat. Yeah. So... We um, it was like a single, big single bed. So I'm, I'm, I'm on, the, I'm on the side. Like I don't usually sleep on the inside as well. If it, I wasn't at my house, so I was loud or whatever. And she's bigger than me, so I stepped on the inside. I've been through that. Woke up right, and like I went to move, but this girl had me. She had. <laughs> 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 this girl. <laughs> this girl had me pinned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This girl had me pinned to the wall like this. <laughs> there was no space in front, and you know, like. I'm a, I'm a big dude. Like, even though I had a bit of weight in me. You know, I was like... Bro, I swear. Listen, the girl was snoring as well. Yeah. I'm doing all of this. I had to slide out of the bed. Yeah. Like, out of the bottom of the bed and get out. <laughs> 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 Fucking hell, I'm even all over the place now. Oh, uh, bro. That, after that, like, literally, it was, it was, it was so, it was so harrowing for me. Yeah. Are you sure there was, wasn't a little part of you that quite liked it, though? No, nah, because I couldn't move her. Because, like, I enjoyed the whole stuff beforehand. All that. Yeah. It was all nice. It was like, yeah, 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 yeah. Kind of learn, like, whatever, whatever, whatever. And, like, you could just go as hard as you want and whatever, whatever. But afterwards, it's, it was very, was it, is it? Demasculating or emasculating? Emasculating, yeah. I felt emasculated. Yeah. How can I be in the bed and I can't move? I've had, I've had women wake up and or the next morning say, oh, well, you were snoring and like I couldn't roll you over. I like, you should have woke me up. But I'm a man, in it. Like, I'm a big dude, in it. Yeah. How the hell are like, I was sleeping and I couldn't move you. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Like, bro, that's bad, man. man. If that's not for you, bro, that's all good. For me and that's all good. My pride was real. Some, I, and listen, someone else would love that, bro. Yeah, my pride I'm was sure. real. Man, no, my pride was hurt because yeah. I I've never seen you. Know, you I, I hope the, the rendition was good enough for you because I was like this to the wall, like, bro. The performance like, it was, was mad. Listen, it you was should mad. you should get an Oscar for that. It's, it's yeah. mad, no, it was mad. I should get an Oscar for sleeping there. Yeah, you should, man. Yeah, but yeah, that's listen, um, I'm sorry you had to go through that. Yeah, Sounds, yeah, yeah. Was, traumatic. You know the girl was nice. The only traumatic part was the waking up and like no, um, yeah, and I couldn't go home. This was like time before. We was whipping and all that. There was no cab thing. It was off ends. But anyway, yeah. So where's I, where's I, I, ends? Huh? Where's ends? Right here. Right, right here. Right like Camden. Uh, okay, yeah, cool. yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was off ends. It was off ends. I remember back in the day we used to go off off ends. How's the furthest place? What's the furthest place you've been going to, to get to to get some? Like literally, you know, you're at home, but the girl phones you. She's in Scarborough. You're like, ah, oh, I'm coming. Yeah. Like, where's the furthest place you've gone? And you thought, rah, but you got to you thought, rah. I said, I really have come. Oh, I'm stupid. I've done so many long distance <laughs> relationships. I've, I've done uh, long distance all the time. So yeah. Um, the top one, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I've done um, like uh, New Zealand. Fucking hell, yeah, bro. Yeah. And Is that uh, come in, man. What's up, Gary? Come in, man. Take your seat over there, man. What's in the house? What's going on? Right? As you're saying, there's your show over there, yeah. It, you're we're, we're filming right now. Okay. Yeah, but you did it, huh? Give me a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're cool, man. Cool, man. Well, you want to bust out and come back in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're not, you're, you're not filming. I'm still finishing, finishing with him. You'll be, you're, you're, you'll be filmed. You, they can't see you there. Oh, can't they? No, you can see you here. They can't see you there. Okay. Come fucking up your interview. I'm joking. No, it's all good, man. <laughs> yeah, um... What are you Fox, nice to meet you. Fox, nice to meet you. Cool, cool. My man. Um, good, bro. What, where was we? Sex. Um, New Zealand. My man went to New Zealand for Pum Pum. Like no, I'm busy. No, <laughs> <laughs> and the wizard said, Mate, I'm, "Good man, spot on." Yeah, I fall. Yeah, I've fallen into that trap a bunch of times. No, so. but that's 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 nice because you get committed. To not, committed. Yeah, no, nah, but if you like me, if I okay, look, if a chick's in New Zealand and, she, and, and I know a chick's in New Zealand and she wants to see me, and I can afford to go to New Zealand to see the chick and go over there, I'll go because it's like you know, like that's 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 
That's nice. That's a good nice. trip it's, as well. That's a a good yeah. Trip. yeah, I'm dying to go to that side of the world. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I'm talking like, no, I'm talking like being in Holloway and then going to Croydon and then there's no buses and no trains. Oh, I've done that's, that. that's all I'm I've talking done, about. I've done that as like, well. He <laughs> said New Zealand. I was like, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, um, I've done that as well. Yeah, yeah. Probably like, said. yeah, like Putney or like, yeah, somewhere like Peckham. Like, you know, because I'm north, so that's yeah. like far. Like Croydon. Yeah, Croydon. Oh, it's a, it's a Croydon's name. the worst one as well, actually. I've been stuck there. Yeah. Where you're just like, no, no nothing, no trains. Like, you're not getting back to North London. No, no way, way, no how. No how. No, no. I've, I've gone to a girl's house. We're going to, we digress a lot now. I've gone to a girl's house and I'm thinking it's all grave in that. Gone there, it's Croydon. She's living like a Viking. She's her house is like a Viking's house, you know, like she's living like a Viking. There's goats and stuff running around. Yeah. The cat can do what it wants. It's yeah. fucked up. And I'm thinking, what am I doing here? I'm like, I need to get <laughs> go to my house, and it's yeah. just like, man, we digressed a lot. Yeah, we did. Let's but get. I enjo- this. But I enjoyed it so much. I'm enjoying though. you. Yeah. I can't wait to become a performer. Bro, 100. percent We can't extend. Yeah. Right. Okay, we will take a pause and extend. Yeah. All right. Let me see, let me get let me get half these questions and then take a quick break and then get up half the questions. No, 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 do your thing, do your thing, bro. Right. What's the worst thing you've ever seen? What's the worst thing I've ever seen? Yeah, you're gonna get loads of random questions now. What's the worst thing you've ever seen? Ooh. We can come back to it, you know. Yeah, let's go back to that one. Anytime. What's think. the best thing you've ever seen? Best thing I've ever seen. The girl in New Zealand saying, hey, fuck, hey, I'm girl, here. Wait how's it going? What's it going? Oh, my God. Where are you? Oh, my God. Hey, oh, my God. Wow. Fox is it's, here. It's so big. Yeah, yeah. oh, for uh, fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, bro. Sorry, bro. I had to, sorry. No, it's all right. It's yeah. fine. I can see the kind of guy you are, and I like you. You're a good guy. <laughs> um, but, yeah, the best thing I've ever seen, probably just, like, yeah, travels, man. Like just different and, things. Yeah, and just meeting different people, and um, yeah, going to different places. Mm. Like that's the best. That's the best part of life. Just nice. more yeah. experience yeah. for yourself. Yeah. yeah I feel that. I feel that. Tell me something about you. No one knows. Ooh. Bro, there's. Do you know what? I'll I'll answer it, but there's not. There's actually not that much because I'm like an overly open person. Mm. Like all my friends, like know. I'm not the sort of guy that holds cards close to his chest. Mm. I, I've never done that. I'm an oversharer, like a hundred percent, without mm. shadow of a doubt. So mm. there's actually, there's not, there's not anything about. Would like to go to the I moon? Haven't. Would I like to go to the moon? Mm. Or like, what sort of scenario is this? Am I coming back? I like this guy, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so no, I'm talking like full blown everything, like because if you go to the moon, you might not come back. But I'm saying like. Aliens, but not with the aliens in it. Yeah. But like I'm saying futuristic stuff where you could battle start galactic where you can jump on a thing. Yeah. You can fly out there, it's probably a space station there, you might decide to stay there. Who's dri- to are you driving? No, I'm not driving. Okay. But you may go to another place or you could come back. It's a possibility there there is facility to go and come back. Bro, you could die on the flight bro, anyway. I'm there, yeah, yeah. yeah. Go, Definitely. Yeah. yeah. That's the kind of thing I, For I'd sure. love. That's one Would thing you do people don't know. I'd love to. Yeah. I think that's something no, I'm very safe. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, why, why are you telling us this? You're not over the noise. <laughs> I love that. My man in the background, he's going to phone it. He's like, shush, yeah? Give up. Cool. I love that. <laughs> Can you please stop doing that? <laughs> Is it possible? It's gone. Thank you very much, sir. <laughs> and he's telling me to shush. shush. I love yeah, you. I like yeah. that. I like that. Um, 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 no, I'd love to go to the moon. Um, I'd like to be, I like, I like sci-fi stuff. Like I'm not, I don't think I'm scared of it. I think I'd be interested to explore Why off of the planet. Why would you love to go to the moon? Why would you love to go to the moon? Why? Because of all the films I've seen. Oh. In my imagination, and what's, what's like, after, after Earth, or after certain places, what is, there, what is there here? It's like people are people all around the world. I want to go to New Zealand. I want to go to Japan. I want to go to, I wanted to go to China before the whole COVID thing. I'm not interested in China anymore. Um, I'm not um, but I would like if I could like be healthy enough and strong enough when they figure out this whole space thing I'd love to see what's going on out there yeah definitely I'd love to I just just something I'd like to see listen Literally, if, I'd, rather, I'd go there before I go to freaking um, Russia if there's any like uh, if there's any like um, you know when they say hey there's a lottery yeah I'm, I'm submitting your name a hundred times yeah please so yeah please, 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 please 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 and then you need to film the podcast on the way to please, the I want to make well. sure I get it I don't want to be one of the people that die in the, in, on the way there you know the yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> like in the movies yeah exactly yeah, movies, people die on certain yeah bits, exactly man. yeah um what's your biggest inspiration um 
I think I draw from just what is around me at the time. Like every little thing I go through day to day um, will help me create. You know, like even this has given me so much energy Good, today yeah, as well. Give me energy as well. Thank bro. you, bro. Um, like, give me free, yeah, come on, man. Yes, bro. Um, but yeah, like everything like this is just you know keeping mo keep moving forward. That's yeah. the thing. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. And it's trying important. to express myself as much as possible through music and try to be more honest and and open. Um, mm. So yeah, that's my yeah everything. I think like experience just you know it it. Everything stays in there somewhere. Mm. It's all, you know, mm. I like, that. like um, you know, just in the in the bank, you know. Yeah. You got it there. I like that. I like that. I like that. You know, um, I, I, I want to say anyway, because it's a thing. In my, um, in my extensive uh, experience, that being open and honest is good. Mm. But when we get to a certain point, we have to choose who we're open and honest Honest too. 100%. Yeah. Some people don't deserve yeah, yeah, yeah. it. Definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Some people don't deserve it. And definitely, once definitely. Like, it's like, yeah, yeah, I'll give sure. you silence, but I'll be yeah. open and honest with you. Yeah, you know yeah, I mean? exactly. And that's very yeah, important. Yeah. I think that's very important. And silence is loud as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I find it hard to be silent. Like, I, 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 yeah. I, fucking, I wish I could just shut the fuck up sometimes. <laughs> leave people to figure out themselves. No, seriously, and not, not interact. Yeah. It's so much safer. It's a better Yeah, home. definitely, yeah. It's so much better for you. Yeah. What's your favourite quote? Favourite quote? I think it's the one I said earlier about, um, you know, people, Ethan Hawke about people finding art, you know, um, you know, whether you're feeling down or really happy. Yeah. That's my favorite quote. You know, nice. you look for, you know, things in, uh, you know, experiences <coughs> for yourself, whether that's like you've been most upset or most happy. Yeah. Mm. That's my favorite quote, the Ethan nice. Hawke one. I think I know the answer to this one. Ask anyway. Go first on. date, who pays? Wait, first date, who pays? Yeah. We both pay, hopefully. <laughs> We're going Dutch. Yeah, exactly. Listen, it's, you know, equality, man. Come on. Equality. Yeah, yeah. You don't know yeah. if you're getting on either, do you? Huh? Nothing. Um, <laughs> yeah, if you were a colour, what colour would you be and why? <laughs> Wait, if I was a colour? Yeah, what colour would you be and why? Like, what do you mean? If you was a colour, no, fuck off. <laughs> Fucking hell, no, I'm picking white. There's definitely, a, I'm, I'm playing life on easy mode. You play easy mode, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Yeah, in it. Like, do you know what I mean? Oh, white. <laughs> yeah. Oh, um. <laughs> Every time. Right. Yeah. yeah. And I can dance. And the jazz hands. Yeah. Jazz yeah. Hands. yeah. In it. Um. Yeah. No, if you were a colour. Yeah. All right, if I was a colour, yeah. Yeah. I you're, think I'd, you're, I think you're I'd, like electric blue or something, something like that. Well, yeah, I'm gonna yeah. say I'm gonna say something like yeah, yeah, like electric blue with sprinkles and yeah. shit in it. Like, do you know? What? I'm, I think I'd be baby pink. Baby pink. Yeah, Why? yeah, yeah. I don't know. Or maybe like a like earth tones, like green, like a mixture of green, brown, and like beige, like Why? earthy tones. You know. Why? Um, I think that's just like in terms of I don't know. That's bless hard. You. Bless you. Bless you. Thank you. Bless you too. That's man. just. And bless Kevin love, as well for having you. Bless Kevin. Come on, yeah. That's well dad. done, Dad. Yeah, please. Um, Thank you. Yeah, retro colours, man. Moose in the house! Moose in the house! Come on, man. <laughs> Quiet in the corner. Playing some phone. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're going to go after him after this. Yeah, yeah, he's coming yeah. in there. Right? Yeah. Does he know what's going to happen next? He doesn't, he's got no clue, man. Okay, well, don't tell yeah. him. No, 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 don't tell him. Yeah, yeah, you're going to love him. Hit him with that protective clothing, look. I like surprises. I like surprises. Okay, that's good. That's good. Surprise! Surprise, <laughs> motherfucker! <laughs> motherfucker! Um, I mean, yeah. What's that? Um, um, the Joker. When he goes, wait till they get a load of me. Um, when which one? Uh, that's Jack Nicholson. Oh yeah, yeah. Wait yeah. till they get a load when of Batman me. Batman Returns. Yeah, that's yeah, Jack yeah, Nicholson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah hey, yeah, Prince did all the music for that. Who? Huh? Prince. Yeah, yeah. It's a good yeah. fucking thing. I like mm. Seals one though as well. Seals, Seals, Kiss from a Rose was good. Mm. That was that was a different one though. But I, um, you ever dance with the devil on the pavement light? Yeah, that's fucking the classic bars, man. Bars, bars. That's What's classic, the best right? advice you've ever given? Best advice I've ever given. Um, I don't know. I give advice um, a lot. I think at the moment, you know, my least favorite thing at the moment and the reason why I've enjoyed being on this podcast so much is like, do you know when you meet someone and they're about to tell you something really like, a little bit too personal and they kind of go oh it's a bit too early for that conversation <laughs> and i'm like oh it's never too early like yeah. it's never too early to have the conversations that matter or are important yeah. and like a lot of the time we feel like it's impolite because we're british and it's like keep calm and carry on you know but... i'm not british i'm my own yeah exactly right? 100%, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but that's the thing that i think yeah 
just just whatever thing you're feeling just <coughs> just be, say it get out <coughs> yeah just nice. be like yeah like we've been sort of i think the the main theme for this like thing we've been talking about today is just staying inside yourself being mm. true to you mm. um it's I important think, especially yeah. in this current climate 100 percent, man yeah 100%. If you don't, if you don't know, well, you have to be careful about you know everything, you know, like about yeah. stepping on toes and stuff like that. You know, we're so I've got something for you. gone. No, I wanted to finish this. Bit. I've got a poem for you. Oh yeah, yeah. Because you want, you want to sing for me? N- what? Yeah. <laughs> no, no. no. no I'm stepping on toes. I've got a poem no. for you. I've got a poem for you. Just it just jumped into my head now. But yeah, I think a, a lot. We're hyper aware as a as a society these days. We're so hyper aware of like making mistakes and putting a foot wrong or, mm. or upsetting someone. You know, mm. me and my mate were talking about this the other day, and it's just like you have to just like say your truth to someone in in no fear of like what the reaction's going to be. Sometimes you know, like people gonna react. Yeah, yeah, people are gonna react mm. regardless. And I think you know, obviously you have to be caring of people, but just yeah. yeah. Um, you know, stay true to you. Yeah, Aware. yeah, definitely. Okay, so you just told me. No, you never just told me. So you just maybe just think of something. So I'm gonna bust it for you. So Go on. It's, about, it's not that long. It's about a minute and a half, I think. <clears throat> if I can remember it as well. It's for you because you won't sing. So I'm gonna give you some art. No, so I'm not. No, no, no. That's not happening. But I'll give you this. Um, how we look isn't necessarily how we feel. How can we tell if anything is actually real? False advertisement is rife. We have even let no people have even less chance of figuring out their meaning to life because everywhere you look, there are different distractions, conco- concocted of false attractions. No time to make connection to who you really are. We've lost direction. Jesus, please, drive the car. How we look isn't necessarily how we feel. People are lonely. Isolation can kill. It's real. You might be cool with solitude. Not everyone feels like this. Someone you could do with a hug, some empathy, love, understanding, a kiss. Someone to really listen. A true friend to play their position. Notice changes, questions, support. Have an intuition. Take a moment to pull back my cover. Take a look under my cloak. See a different me. One that's begun to choke on life. Can't get anything right. My chest is tight. Not thinking clearly. Not clear to those near and dear to me. Clearly suicidal tendencies. No one's defending me. Everyone condemning me because of what they see. Thinking I'm good, but I'm not. The block is hot. Hear me, I'm screaming. Desperately in need of healing. But I look okay on the outside. Pride, swagger and style. Take your eyes for a ride. Avoiding what's right in front of you. You know what your life's like. So at least some of you must understand my perpetual journey from darkness to light. Because once you're here, you're here. It's up to you. Shit happens. Make it through. You're on your own, kid. It's hard. For real. Believe. It's true. Next time you see a friend, ask how do you do? How did you get through your recent challenges? Offer a kind word. Do what you can to help manage it. Life's a game, but it don't play. To some, mm, make them feel heard. To some, it's absurd, but it helps. You'd be, you'd be surprised what works. So many are broken, disheartened, disillusioned, lost, longing, trying hard, but getting it wrong, and it's long. So much confusion. Don't believe the illusion. Forget sight. Listen to my words. You can see how I look, but that's not necessarily how I feel. And that's that. <laughs> hey yo man, yes free yeah, G. Yeah. Put it down for the mistakes. Bro, that's all fucking that stuff sick. The sinuses, well done, man. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a work in progress. Bro, I love that. But Bro, it's thank that. you for that. No, yeah. cool, man. That's sick. And that's it's that. Unless people talk to you and they give you the real or you're answering, in this world we're living in right now, yeah. people have got such fucking um not even barriers and covers, yeah. so many fake layers up. Yeah. And they're not they're scared to be the real person. Authentic yeah. self, yeah. How can you help someone if you don't know what's going on? If you don't say something, and you, if you want to say like, if you want to pretend like, oh, it's all good, I've got this, I've got that, I've got money, I'm happy, this, this, you're not like, open up to your friends or people around you, you can't receive help. Yeah. Then you're in a, you're in, you're in a case of festering inside yeah, there. Yeah, definitely. And that's a dark place. I urge. It's a you, vacuum, you know. Yeah, it's yeah, horrible. Yeah. It's horrible. I urge everybody out there, anyone out there, if you're feeling feeling a certain way. Or going through something and it isn't outwardly apparent. You call this a- number at the bottom <laughs> of the screen. Yeah, yeah. No, don't call me. Don't call me. Cool, yeah, don't yeah. Call yeah. Me. Wait, don't drop, me. drop, drop IO's number at the you bottom of the screen. Me. Yeah, yeah. If you got a problem, you could definitely text me on on Insta, official big IO, and I'll try and help you figure that out. Like I'll I'll talk to you. Like try me out, and I'll definitely Respect, talk man. to you. Do you know yes. what I'm saying? Wow. Yeah. But apart from that. 
Just find oh, someone you we can all talk are, to. We all are. And yeah, everyone needs yeah. help. I know first, I need help from time to time. The first part of the jump is just telling someone. Yeah. yeah. Then it becomes less heavy on you as well. And yeah. the only reason to like, yeah, just have people around is they're going to help you jump higher. Yeah. yeah. And you understand that? People don't want to burden people as well. With their oh, that's, but that's what I'm talking about. The, 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 but that's exactly what I'm saying about the whole like, oh, it's too early for this conversation. No, but what about when they burden you with this shit? Uh, all the time. How many people ain't scared to burden you with this shit? Yeah, exactly. So don't be scared to but tell people about you. Yeah, That's yeah, my yeah, thing. Yeah. I'm not scared to tell no one because yeah. I know when it's on top, people come with their bags. They don't even come with one thing. They yeah, don't they, even, the whole... No, no, they yeah, come yeah, with yeah. fucking Louis Vuitton bags. You know, the, yeah, yeah. Oh, the, fucking, the trunk. The, yeah, 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 bro. Yeah, not yeah, even yeah. a carrier bag. They'd be the whole trunk. Yo, bro, listen. When I was six, this happened. When yeah. I was seven, the man down the road was messing with me. Oh, like this, I ain't got no money for this. Fucking yeah, hell. Yeah, yeah, exactly, bro. I don't like public speaking. This, this, this. It's all good, but just like reach out to someone who loves reach you out. and help yeah, you out. Yeah, hundred percent. Always. Um, excuse bro. me. Thank you for letting me think about that. Yeah, bro, that was sick. And I want to see more of that on June. Uh, what? Yeah, you will. You yeah, will the six. Yeah, on. June the six. Yeah, come you on, will. You definitely will. Yeah, here we go. We've got a whole. We'll talk, we've got a whole lineup for that. It's really but, good. But that's not the release date. That's just the filming date. Okay, that's just the filming the, date. Um, acapella now? Did you say? No. Oh no no. no, no he's no, running no, out no, the door. No no. Are you right? I'm done. I'm done. It's downstairs. Too far? <laughs> <laughs> you know, you might as well go now before we start. We're gonna have a little pause in between. Yeah. Yeah, um, where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Where are we? All right, um, advice to your younger self. I'm so blocked. Fuck like, uh, bitches, get money. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um, <laughs> I'm even done with the song Get money. Fuck bitches, get money. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> no, I don't know. Are you already, you should enjoy your life. Yeah. Like, you already, you're right. That's a good ethos. Like, but within, within, with all the work you've done already, just a little bit of. Do you know what? I think, up, I think that's what, a good ethos. I think, I think what we've been talking about today, just staying true to yourself and not giving away too much, mm. you know, um, in terms of investment in relationships, you know, um, not giving yourself away too much. Yeah. Like, Prioritize you. Yeah. You know, I think that's the most important part. It is. Um, and believe in you. Yeah. You know, and and you're on this journey for a reason. Yeah. And, and you know, you you know, if it was like, it's it's kind of good in a way though because I feel like your heart follows. Uh, you know, I'm sure it's the same for you, but with music, it's like my legs are already running before I can even instinctually make like a uh, like. The decision. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Like um, my drive is already taking me mm -hmm. to music before mm -hmm. I can even mm -hmm. like make a conscience decision of like. Yeah. Oh, you're, a yeah, musician. This... you're a musician. Yeah, you're it's like musician, just in like the music. soul. So yeah. Music, so yeah, I think just you, yeah. yeah, stay true to yourself, <coughs> prioritize yourself, and yeah, don't get distracted with um, you know. That's very important. It's very poignant. About. Like because I think there's a lot of people out there who are trying to to link up their things with other people mm. or create symbiotic um, relationships. Yeah. Where, and then when they're not working, they, that's where they're finding their problems. And then they lose themselves. In yeah. That and as they, well. and it's, yeah. I, I think it's important, like you said, to find yourself, find yourself, to limit yourself, not to, not to, not to run into anything like a relationship yeah. or a business uh, thing, even a job. Certain yeah, jobs are like, a, a, yeah, a stifling. that takes away from you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, certain jobs yeah. are very stifling. So I think what you're saying is very important to find out who you are inside and then, 100%. and then go from there as a baseline. And have your have your values and morals, and don't be dictated to. If you're not clear yeah. about what you want and your values and morals are, that's fine. Try and find out. Try things. Don't be spoon fed by anybody, because mm. there's people out there that will spoon feed you to keep you in a certain way, and then it's just a vicious circle. Yeah. If you're now open minded and then um, proactive in finding yourself, like you said, learn my learning, Fred Fox, yeah. and finding yourself, it's gonna be easier. It's gonna be easier for you to enjoy your life. You'll have less, less mishaps, less, less trip ups. It's not gonna be, it's not gonna be walking apart. But no, yeah, exactly. It'll be easier. Yeah, yeah, because you're gonna know what you want, so everybody mm. around you will fall in tow because yeah. you have your sights set on something. Yeah, that's it's true. Good stuff. Yeah. What's your favorite film, TV program? Favorite film or TV program or TV program? Uh, I'm gonna go Game of Thrones. Not joking. I'm gonna go Basic Bitch and say uh, Basic Bitch. I've never seen that. What's that about? For Forrest Gump. No, I'm joking. I'm run, joking. Forrest, run. run! No, 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 no. Mama, um, mama said, mama, mama, mama said. Um, my mama said, watch favorite, that today. Favorite film? I just watched. 
I watched Die Hard with a Vengeance recently, and that was really, really good with Samuel Jackson. Of course he fucking is. Bro, that's one of my... My name's Zeus, like, put a lightning bolt in your ass. So Zeus, good. Zeus. So good. Zeus, 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 do you hear me? Yeah, hey, yeah Zeus. exactly, yeah. That film is fucking So amazing. good, yeah. And like, um, All three of them are good they don't make action movies like that anymore. Good like, God. where it's just like, not CGI, it's just good all God. real stuff. It's good like, God. you know, so that, that's one of my favorites, that yeah. One, that's a, that's a like, classic, bro. It's yeah, an action movie, yeah. Die Hard 1, 2, and 3 is one of my favorite Yeah, 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 yeah. That whole best Christmas movie as well. So yeah, yeah. and then ooh, it is, it is, and it isn't. What okay, Die Hard it one? It's Christmas movie. You know, is is no. You know what? The, the two of them ho, are Christmas movies. Ho, the first ho. two. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I love it. Um, yeah. I love. I fucking love Die Hard to bits. But Die Hard in the night, Home Alone in the day. <laughs> it's about Christmas movie. Bro, you need to get that tattooed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I in the night because it was yeah, yeah, home yeah. in the day. Christmas movies. Yeah, yeah. Christmas movie. I'll see Macaulay Culkin kick, yeah. kicking the yeah. fuck out of yeah. all the, all yeah. the intruders in, classic, in there, and then see Bruce Willis kicking the fuck out of the other intruders <laughs> yeah. in Nakatomi Plaza. Yeah, yeah exactly. Like, even the black you in the yeah. demo downstairs dancing, Argyle. Yeah, in yeah, the limo. yeah, yeah, That's Argyle. The movie. Even yeah. the fucking, even the um, he he had the most black supporting actors. Or Bruce Willis. Yeah, no, in that film. Because all the all the criminals were Eastern Europe, like kind of Hitlery kind of thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. But his thing, Al. His team, yeah. And the guy, Argyle. Yeah, black. yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't think of that. I didn't even clock that. It's good for back then as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Not just straight like having them as the yeah bad yeah, characters. I think, yeah, I think they was actually they was they was supporting the 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 the, the, the hero. Mm. I think I love the I love fucking that. Mate, that's what I'm gonna do on Christmas Day. I'm gonna call it the IO, like back to back. It's like, <laughs> yeah, Home Alone and then Die Hard in the yeah, night. Yeah, yeah. That's that's they gonna got bars. bro. That's gonna be the back to back. They got bars. Yeah. You know, yeah. like, Merry Christmas, you filthy yeah. animal. Yeah, exactly. I love I love fucking I love that that recording comic thing. Um, if you had one wish, what would it be, and why? Musa, we're gonna start in a minute. Sorry, um, sir, because I know we're a bit late. I think my favorite thing I've always like felt is to make people feel what I feel that's 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 my wish like in my <laughs> in my music and I think that's what that's what I tried to set out to do you know when you listen to a good tune and it really connects you to that moment or that time that's mm. what I try and do in my music that's my nice. one wish is like I play music and people feel what Touch I people. feel yeah nice. exactly no nice. um afterlife do you believe in it and what do you think what it would be like? Oh, no, I don't, man. I think don't um, I think we're, we're we're all here for a certain amount of time, and it's um, sacred and blessed. And do your best while we're here. Yeah, exactly. That's it. You only got one shot, man. Yolo. Yolo. Yolo, bro. All right, this is my last question. Mm. 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 One last question for you. Yeah. Then you're free to ask me a question. Then we're going. If you were an animal, what animal would you be, and why? A fox, come on, you guys, it's too obvious, it's too obvious, it's too obvious, man, it's too obvious. Why? Tell me why, tell me why. Never if you tell me why. Sly as a fox, man, yeah. Sly yeah. as a fox, yeah. Smart animals, smart. Yeah, 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 urban creatures, you know, integrated in society. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they're smart, they're smart. I'm sticking with the fox. Dad, from the X-Files. From the X-Files? Yeah, yeah. Fox um, and Mulder. Fox Mulder. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Exactly. I know, I know. Films and TV, I know. Yeah, Music, you I'm do, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do so, the mind. day, the... Uh, yeah, it's Mulder and Scully, but then his Fox first Mulder. name is Fox, Fox Mulder. Yeah. And yeah, f my dad found out like a couple of days before I was born and was yeah. just like, ah, it's a winner, you know. <laughs> dad's, dad's in marketing, so he's like, just slap this kid with the yeah. name. It's a cheat, it's a cheat name, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Is that your actual name? Yeah, mm -hmm. it's the real oh, name. Shit, I thought that was your yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, it's a bit of a cheat, but. Come on. Yeah, yeah. My question for me? Go on, man. What, what wakes you up in the morning? What's your drive? I want to know. That's I've never fucking been asked that. Um, what wakes me up in the morning? What's my drive? Life is my drive. My awareness of the stuff that I've managed to achieve up until this point, mm. my experiences up until this point, my my intelligence, my uh, 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 um, my knowledge, um, my demeanor, 
And then life, when I say life, it's my whole family and everything. But that, all those things, knowing that today could possibly be the day, one of the best days of my life. Yeah. Knowing that anything's possible when you get up, once you apply yourself. Knowing that you can... So you're a firm believer in living every day to, like, the full. Is that where you draw your, like, power yeah, I mean, and energy I, from? Let me, in, let me put it in the context, because I could wake up and say I'm not fucking getting out of bed. Yeah. That, that to me, if I don't feel like getting out of bed... That is me living to my particular fullest that, that yeah, day. Yeah, exactly. I might be tired. I might be depressed. I might be, you know, uh, uh, hungover. I might be pensive. You might be stuck against a really large <laughs> lady. <laughs> I might have been coming out for days, days man. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. I think just just understanding the the, the, the endless possibilities that you could put the, the, that that life is, and that. Like this morning, like things change so so uh, so quickly. Like this young man phoned me today. And he's definitely gonna be there. I, I was getting ready. I got a cat. My cat's fucking around in the room. Like I've got a cold. I'm trying to get something in me. I've got my stomach's wrenching and everything. But I know I've got this show to do. And then you text me outside the door. Boom. You're on point. He's on point. Bam. It's time to go. Like, <laughs> that's all good. Now I'm here in front of you. Coming in the room today was amazing for me. Yeah. I know potentially what that can be. This is your first encounter of me, my first encounter of you. Yeah. Yet still, this isn't my first podcast in this room. This isn't my first time meeting somebody like yourself, so yeah. talented, full of energy. So I know now, even I feel enhanced from the conversation we had today. Yeah. And when I know that, I know there's, I've, I've, got, I've got a bag of shit to deal with, but that's what gets me up in the morning. Know that things can always be better. Yeah. Know there's things I could just get up and laugh about. And also knowing that I'm loved by a multitude of people and, and animals. There we go, <laughs> bro. It's been a pleasure, oh, man. It's Yo, been an Fox, absolute it's pleasure. Been, it's no, been honestly. lovely. Yeah, anytime, man. Fox, and, uh, nah, not anytime. Fox, for your ears now, will be at the hundredth episode performing live with his band. Understand that we're not going to get to see him now on the show because he, 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 he he's, he's reluctant to to to, to sing a cappella. However, it means we're going to get him on. You can check out his social media, Fox Jackson. Yeah, at Fox Jackson. At Fox Jackson. On Spotify as on well. Spotify on all platforms. Check that out. This is Life Talks. I.O. Fowale, the wizard. Come on, I.O. Fox Jackson. Yeah, so Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.